Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to now officially Backpack Battles. We're almost at Masters, so we're 61 points into Diamond. And we're going to make ourselves now to Frost, Frost Master. So we have been perfecting yesterday our Frost Pyromancer playstyle, but we use all the Frost items continuously. And we're trying to kind of find the best play, the best way to, to always get there to make it succeed every single time. And that's what we're going to be walking you through today. Uh, we buy the broom because it's discounted. Discounted means for free because I can sell it for the same. Mm. Genuinely thinking if I want to buy the shield just to stay alive better. So it's like it's a bit stinker because we're going to sell it. So that's two gold wasted and I hate wasting two gold. We'll see. Let's do the speed in the beginning. And this is what I said about I like the speed in this game. So this is PvP, right? This is a real person we're fighting. Asynchronous. But due to me choosing like the speed on how fast these fights are running, I can kind of influence how much time I want to spend here, right? Do I want to spend a lot of time? Do I want to spend some time? Uh, that, that's really cool. Okay, we need to make a torch. We need to buy the whetstone. We need to buy the piggy bank. And I technically need to already sell the shield that I would have the space to put the piggy bank in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh to get the leather back. I'll probably sell the broom for now and I'll regret it. But the broom is essentially the only thing I can sell right now without much of a downside. We can put the piggy bank in and piggy bank gives you more health for everything surrounding. And then I can put the stone in as well. We don't want the dagger. I can buy this one as well now for selling the broom. Plus, I can buy that stone because why wouldn't I buy that stone? Yeah. That is now the problem that we only have one weapon going on. I mean, it's a good weapon that gets has a chance to deal bonus damage, right? But most likely lose against him because we put away the broom. That's fine to me as we're like setting up for the long run. Get the torch and the burning torch. We're going to move you here. We're going to put that there, and this this stone is going to get buffed too. More torches, more HP. We need the customer card. This is very important for Frost. Because all the Frost items in the recipe, like the, this is our epic item. This is a legendary item. Uh, these are generally, this is uh, godly. This is uh, rare. No, this is epic too. Rare, rare, rare. So they're all very rare. That's why you want the customer card to get like higher rarity items. We get another mm, i kind of want to buy the flame more flames more life uh, we're gonna lock the banana we need banana nah, actually we're not gonna lock the banana for now when we anyways only have the torch we need another sword right now because that's plan of the of how to how to get to the point where i want to be but oh, we're probably gonna lose against goober because he's poisoning us do you see how much poison damage we're taking chan yikes that's bad that's my sword. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Burning torch. We're going to refresh. That's the second stone. Let's go. Okay, life's good, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get the sword and the burning sword. Everything is doing more damage. We now just need stamina gain. And we're perfectly well. We're probably going to get beaten by his short bow with a double hero sword because that's a lot of damage. Well, we're, we're doing, doing a reasonable amount of damage, but he just drank a potion. That's a problem because that potion just brings him one up and we're just stamina starved. That's a few unlucky losses, but we're okay. We're two stars. From this point on, it's only upwards and beyond. Burning sword into burning coal. Mmm... Oh, into both can hit faster. Let's just do it the other way around because then I can put them upwards. Right? Burning coal, burning sword. Second customer card. Second customer card is an upgraded customer card. I'm going to lock this and put the chili out because the chili gives us more heat and heal. So that's useful. 
Whereas the customer card would right now do nothing. Just high rarity items, right? Oh no, are we going to lose against your burning sword? Double burning sword combo? Jesus. When he has some heal, we have more heat. We're attacking faster. Our problem right now is we're lacking stamina because we didn't pick up the bananas. So I might have made a mistake here for not taking the banana, if I'm honest with you. Mm-hmm. Might have made a huge mistake for not taking the banana. There's the banana, finally. And I told you that I don't want it. But as it turns out, that was bad from my side. Oh, that is the whetstone. That's perfection. Because that makes the burning blade. Now, we do have the banana. And we have the customer card. So this first round is going relatively bad for me, I have to admit. Especially considering that he gets 80 armor. But when we get the banana and the thing to heal me now, his axe is getting stronger though with every hit. And if I lost that one, I would have been really peeved. The perfect would be if I could play this Goobird right now. We're going to buy the Goobird. That's a Wolpertinger. That's too soon. I'll buy the berries. We're going to flick these around. Okay, step number one. Step number two. Step number three. Plan is you're going to have the... This five second trigger, 3.5 second trigger. And then this is 20% faster and 20% faster. So each upgraded to their own. Only problem is we're not getting the customer card out. Nah, you know what? I'm I can I can say mm, we're gonna refresh one time. Ooh, I kind of want the stamina back because that's me just starting with more stamina straight out of the house. The goodie, we can buff, and we're gonna get a draconic orb for next turn already. Could buy a phoenix, but phoenix is not wanted there. The first that flying bunny, that's a Volpertinger. Do you not know a Volpertinger? It's I think it's German lore, if I'm not mistaken, right? Where's the Volpertinger from originally? Yeah, from, from Bavaria. The Volpertinger actually is real. Like it's it's a it's a was it duck? Duck bunny something with teeth. Uh like yeah, the Volpertinger. Here. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a squirrel, duck, rabbit, and duck, duck wings. Wh whoever cooked that up in their mind. Okay. Py Cryomancer, ladies and gentlemen. Cryomancer main. Put the draconic orb in here. Take this whole thingy. Realign in. So I can flip this. To put the frozen flame there. Right now, the frozen flame gives us more crit and critical strike chance per frost we inflict. This should be working out nicely. And this one gives us crit. That goes here. If you are to, you have to touch uh, godly or epic items. Mm. From your position on out, I can't have you touch anything. That's a bit unlucky. Hmm, can't make that work. Well, at least we get the one life plus, and we now have... He has a snake. See, we have five frost. Everything triggers 10% lower on his side, chat. 10% slower, but everything on our side triggers 60% faster. It's truly a meanie. We do get another banana. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. I do want the shield, or the shield would be great to have. 
put that down so it actually touches like a unique item and then we resist debuffs right because that re reflects two debuffs ain't bad oh damn you got the lantern deal 10 damage for each fire it's a bit annoying when you like break the lantern right but he got no chance right now lantern is really annoying in the long run Ooh, that's a hard every three seconds gain a heart and then use seven hearts to increase your healing it's it's not good but it's not bad either like it comes down to that we get it like this early uh, we need to put this here. Then we need to put you there so we can put the Goobert in the middle. We can have these trigger faster. I guess. Refresh one time. That's a Wolpertinger. That's a no-brainer. And we need the Corrupted Crystal too because the Corrupted Crystal works following. I can first and foremost corrupt the hard. But the main interesting part about the Corrupted Crystal is that it actually... Gives you armor whenever you inflict debuffs. So debuff inflicting is good. A Volpertinger is probably going to get where the Wooden Buckler is right now. Okay, let's see. He has double Steel Goober for double armor. This one might be hard. I mean, my... my my torch is twacking, as you can see, like he's, he's being beaten by one single torch to death due to the amount of frost crit everything we're getting. That's a scythe. Just completely useless for us, sadly. We're going to get... I'll probably have to say goodbye to the shield, but I kind of feel like the shield is a little bit keeping me alive here at times. I don't like this because he triggers it just faster, right? Now we can put that in here. Oh, I don't want to make a heart of dark. No, I don't want to make a heart of darkness. Stop it. No, I don't I don't want a heart of darkness. I just want this to give me armor on debuffs inflicted. See, this is like six armor per debuff inflicted, and we're starting instantly with ten. So so we have like we have like six armor gained there, and then we gain more armor. And see, like th that armor we just we just gained in this whole find. The armor gain was like 12 or 18 armor, and we had 15 life. Without this item, we would simply not have won. Well, that's the second Draconic Orb. It's too good. I need another... Thank you very much. I need this. I need this badly to now essentially get rid of the fruits here. Okay, Wolpertinger goes there. Hmm, how do we... Okay. Not what I would like to, but it's all about having like these thingies. Like, look at the trigger chance. It's 1.87 seconds, and this is every one second, right? That's a that's a bit different. Oh god, we're dead. And we're losing against the giant ag. Ah! Might be able to wait. We're almost able to out heal that. Ah, oh, it's a bummer. Here's the armor. The armor we've been waiting for the whole time. Hmm. Potentially possible to sell that. This and that as well. To get the armor. Finally turn it into sun armor. Double debuff reflect. Not a single frost item has been had, chat. And yes, you might wonder. If we're playing Cryomancer. We're not getting any frost items. It, it is what it is. I mean, the problem with Cryomancer is that it might take a significant amount of time until you finally arrive where you need to be. Jesus, we got so outcritted. 
I do need to find the thing to avoid crits. I think that's the plan. I mean, that's my that's our first bat round. Azen, thank you for the brand new sub. Kimos, thank you for the 81 centuries. Good morning and good to see you there. Could have double fanny packed the weapons. Yeah, the problem with double fanny packing the weapon is stamina. Fanny packing the weapons once is already questionable because stamina. <laughs> You, you essentially end up having your weapons uh, hit too fast for you to follow up. Could buy the dagger, but we don't want daggers. So I'm going to refresh. We get a beautiful piggy. And could get a banana. Locking the stone too. Hey, type. Good to see you there. How are you doing? Those are our first frost round. I think we lost too many early rounds. So that's on me, Chad, for losing these early rounds. I mean, right now we have the hammer for bonus uh, armor gain, damage prevention, and everything, plus the sword turning into a torch. So there's no no chance for me to lose this one. But we're essentially trying to improve the way how we play this. I'm not gonna buy. Well, I can buy the fire and sell the fire straight away. See, like I buy the fire, sell the fire. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, we adapt this. He comes here. We put the sword into this moves forward we get the hero sword make the burning torch he touches three different ones these get bonus damage we're locking the lump of coal kind of want to buy the garlic but won't do that uh what you're skipping daggers isn't it stamina free faster attacks because we're not playing daggers Hafnung, in this build because the daggers will be turned into flaming daggers and the flaming daggers would use up our heat but we need our heat so we're not using daggers because it just wouldn't work for the build in the long run. I mean, daggers are good and bad at the same time because daggers, if they attack shields, are burning your stamina. And the only stamina consumption we have is from these two weapons. So it's kind of like, yes, I can put the dagger in, but it would be me spending for gold on something I'm planning to sell down the line anyways. Refresh. This one was bought for two and it's sold for two now. That's like the, the main thing to always consider. Like, if you waste the money now, can you can you make up for it later? Can you can you get your money back later? Right? And you can't, right? So so every money you spend right now is just simply gone. And so we're skipping we're skipping the daggers as we are winning anyways. So the trick is to have these two two things with stamina in the beginning. Because your problem is that we're already attacking 12% faster than anyone else, correct? But if you're 12% faster attacking than anyone else, you do need any kind of stamina production to keep up with that. So right now, Burning Sword. And that's why you 100% need a banana. And not only are you attacking faster than everyone else, right? You're also like, you're also triggering a banana faster than everyone else. We started the game is much fun. Well, that, that's why we're here. That's why we're streaming to give you more insight in the game. I'm going to buy the second piggy. That's maybe a bit of a waste, but the piggy gets you the bonus extra gold. And in three turns, I'm already break even. So after three turns, a piggy is essentially worth it. Quotation mark. So right now he has a spike shield. We're taking damage. And if we would have a dagger here right now, for every attack with a dagger, we take three bonus damage, right? Is it a browser game? No, it's a Steam game. Uh, only 200 megabytes big, though. Call backpack battles. Okay, now we get the goober too. So step one, get the weapons in. And as I said, that's always a bit of a questionable one. Because we're getting the weapons in right now, correct? But at the same time, the weapons are... Not able to attack as fast as possible because we don't have the stamina to have them do that. We get another coal and I'm going to have the piggy do nothing. It's a bit sad. Because the piggy wants to be aligned to items to give us more health. Where do you see what it does? Where, where what does? Sorry, please, please uh, rephrase question. Usually, it's it tells everywhere on everything what 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 what, what does. <laughs> when all the information is is available of every item uh, when you hover over it. So, for example, here the piggy it says uh, gain two max health for each star start battle item. Uh, the fanny pack does 10% faster trigger. And when you hover over the item, you also see triggers 10% faster because of the fanny pack. Right? 
The demo is just the game with limited characters, yes, and with less items. So the demo truly is missing out on a lot. Uh, we kind of want the Corrupted Crystal, but I don't think it would be worth to invest in that. So we're going to roll to get the armor to also get the stamina pack. The stamina pack is having my piggy go here now. And then we're going to... As much as I want to buy the customer card, I don't think I can because you get like 10 gold per round. Right? You'll gain a round. Next gold round, we're getting 11 gold. So I need to keep my money so I'm able to buy the armor. Beat of Obama. Here's the axe and the faster hitting gloves already. But we have these empowering each other because the sword gives me bonus attack for every five heat I gain. As you can see, that brings us up to 16 attack already. That's a lot, right? That's why you want the sword. It's so good. That's why you want the sword 2.0. So we don't only want one sword. We want the double sword. Uh, let's put this here. So we can actually put him there without losing anything. You buy the whetstone to make the sword bigger. And I'm going to sacrifice one heed to get another piggy bank. You're on Xbox. I'm sorry to hear that. Yep. Sadly, it's not on console yet. Um, I don't know if there's any plans to bring this on console and how complicated it is. Uh, I, I heard that bringing things to console is not as easy as just press the port game button. I, I used to believe that. Oh, there is my Frozen Flame. So Frozen Flame gives you two Frost, or the enemy two Frost, for each heat gained. And the Sun Armor doubles the amount of heat that we're getting. Because for every heat item adjacent to the Sun Armor, you're getting more heat. That'd be another Chili, and I want this. I'm going to lock it, but I'm going to refresh. Because right now, I'm going to refresh another time because I can afford it. I was hoping for a stamina pack to put my frozen flame to touch the torch for now. So currently, this armor, due to having all these items around, would double the amount of flames. Our items are holy items, right? And you gain 70 shield and gain one heat for each holy item. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Makes another seven heat. And then we're always starting with 14 heat, and 14 heat is instantly some cold, right? More cold, slower attacks. So that, that's 18%, that's 20% slower triggers. And you can see that when you hover over his items. I mean, they're still triggering plenty fast, which is not fast enough in comparison. Oh boy, we're getting a draconic orb. Draconic orb is so good. Problem is we want the Draconic Orb and the Pepper, but I can't play both. I'm just going to put the Orb out right now. And yes, the Orb is supposed to power the Goobert in the long run. Oh, he's just getting beaten. Look at that. Best part is he's getting bonus. He's getting crits or I'm getting guaranteed crits, right? And the Frozen Flame amplifies my critical strike damage. This one is 15 attack only. But at the same time, it's another 16% critical strike damage. So harder hitting crits. Thank you very much. We can move the food off. I can put the Draconic Orb here. To still have food there to interact. And then buy another chili. And buy another thing. Get the heat over there. The plan is to have this just merely trigger from the Draconic Orbs and to have the Chilies just trigger as much as possible for more heat. Because more heat, more frost. And right now, you see, we want to be like a fancy Cryomancer, but we're mostly using the frost just from the beginning on, right? To just Cryomancer. Let's go. We haven't lost a single round. That's day and night comparison to last round. Uh, that is that is love, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move everything up and get the second draconic orb. To have everything trigger even more. 
Now, now this trigger is faster than ever. I can't put that anywhere. We could probably sell one piggy bank, but I don't want to do that now. Ooh. At least in past, Sony hasn't allowed early access games on their store. Yeah, it could make sense that Sony wants games to not be early access to get there. Damn, we're we're just we're just on a on a roll, Chan. See, when I get the pieces together, oh, that's the second. That is that is huge. That's that is reasonably huge, guys. Just like your mom's booty. That's a burning sword now, and the burning sword does everything the normal sword does better. Uh, we should buy the customer card, but I just don't have the spaces. That's them triggering 10% faster than ever before. Oh, look at the triggers, Chad. Look at the perfect setup. It's beautiful. We probably could put this in the middle to, to try to, like, trigger it even harder. All right, this one is, like, like, like a triple trigger. I kind of like the other one more. Because that also makes the banana trigger harder. This here, more flame triple to dupling. I could buy another heat, but I feel like we have enough heat. So this is like our, our food court. He has the two thingies and they do reduce damage taken by 25% for five. And then uh, that reduces my healing by 60%. This is actually reasonable and nasty because that's what the, what the build does, right? I heal and I survive and then I damage you by slowing you down. So that healing reduction is a kick in the nuts. But at least we have the burning blade now. You made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Burning blade does everything. The other blade does better. Another piggy bang. We don't need. That's a blood amulet. There could be some healing. Mm. And the good thing is that this doesn't need to be attached. So we can do... Good. And we slowly need to phase this out of here. Because if I phase this out of here, there's more there's more flames in the in the cord. And the more flames are in the cord, the better it is. A potion, I want a potion. That's a frost dragon. I actually got it, chat. Got the frost dragon. Ah, squeal. Frost dragon is a GG. We instantly won the game. I, I will show you why. He starts with five frost straight away. Everything triggers 10% slower. He's trying to dagger us. And Jesus Christ, he's daggering us really hard. Ow. Now come, come, my friend, the ice dragon. Okay, the ice dragon needs to touch. The ice dragon needs to touch the... The sword. And at the same time, the flame. And now I can... Ta-da! No, fuck. Not ta-da. <laughs> I'm like, ta-da! I'm like, fuck! That was ta-da. Okay. The touching... Yeah, it's like... But the problem is, no, this, this is not good because it's actually touching the thingy wrong. Like, it's, it's touching the armor and ruining too. Okay, I hate bringing this back in here, but it is what I have right now. 
Yeah, the Frost Dragon is our damage because it starts with 20 damage where the Torch only starts with 3 to 5 damage, right? Hmm, and it attacks every 2.2 seconds. I mean, these attack a bit faster so they can have that. So he starts with 20 damage straight out of the house, but if you actually look at it, not 20 damage straight out of the house because we're going to trigger the first seconds. We start with 23 heat, right? So he starts with 25 damage. But it's 25 damage and the first 10 attacks we do are crits. So, like, he, he gets instantly 32% crit damage plus. A 16% crit damage plus. And that means he's, like, 28, 26, 31, 53, 27, 80. <laughs> so, so, it's just, like, he's going crazy, right? Sinistar, stoke for D4. Dude, um, you and me both. I mean, it, like, it looks interesting what they what they have coming. I hope they can deliver up in what they have shown us. Uh, we're going to put this here. And we're going to put that here. And then we're going to put that there. Which allows me to put him here. So he attacks a little bit faster. I guess. I mean, we're still struggling to get more frost thingies, right? That's a bit of a bummer. But it kind of is what it is. Mm, Wayne, I could put that here and this there. Which allows me to move this one up. And again, that means I can put more flames down in the basin. And the more flames they're down there, uh, the more HP we get. Oh, that's the frozen buckler. And I'm finally going to sell the pea bank. Outlift its welcome. I want to put the buckler here. The buckler is again uh, when frost touches frost, it's more, more potent. Yeah, when when frost touches frost, it's more armor. So we're getting already more more bonus armor from this. You know what? It would be actually perfect if the uh, you can't put it in a way that it actually touches and synergizes, right? We're getting like the 15 bonus armor. Starting with 107 straight away. It's not that bad. And when we straight up bring him into battle rage mode. But we have barely any frost on him. No, his axe is smacking us, silly. No. Ow. We get smacked silly by an axe, child. I'm not happy. Not surprised, though. Hmm. We need this one somewhere where it can actually synergize with my. With my fruits, my labor. Uh, right now, we don't use any mana, so we should probably take the crown because the crown makes us invulnerable. So I think that ad would be a good ad to survive. I mean, Sinister, if everything works out the way we want to, we're going to see the first D4 cool news in, in like less than less than seven days or around seven days. We're going to be able to try out season four. Oh, goodness, you're getting so much. How are you getting this much armor? How are moon shields working? When you get your shit beaten out of you by my dragon, but how are moon shields working? Items for every 12 they gain, gain mana. Okay, chance to prevent 12 damage and remove stamina. Oh, he was getting... Ah, he was corrupted crystals debuff, and then he was getting poison armor. Ooh, that's cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the Book of Ice. Finally a way to use mana mana, but db db. Mana mana, but db db. Let's move everything to the side again. Put that here. We can put the frost book. Because the frost book is using mana to make frost and more frost. Better. <laughs> and more frost is is better. Like surprise. Who would have guessed, huh? Ralu, good to see you there. Ralu, how are you doing? I hope life is finding you healthy and very good. Dragon, frost, frost, frost. So we start with even more armor now. I mean that that is me cooking out of like with hundreds of armor and straight up like destroying her. But we need we need the freaking caps. I, I feel like we underestimate the caps because they prevent hits from being critical. And I think that's very important against the draconic orbs. The dude that was a hundred damage for my dragon. <gasps> no way. I mean, look at the damage the dragon dealt chat. 385. Holy balls. 
It's another frost shield. I kind of wanted. And I do want it touching the frozen flame, but that won't happen. Yet, despite not touching the frozen flame, I think it's a no-brainer to actually put the frost shield in. Since it does remove stamina, does make me, you know, prevent damage and does inflict frost. More frost, better. And we need one of these caps of discomfort, chat. Can you please cue me in that I should buy a cap? Shit, that's cost seven. I can't do it right now. And we should buy one of those caps. I work in eating cereals. Work from home. Hein, work is work. No matter where you are. He has 32 frost. So good look, look at this, chat. He has 38 frost. Every single item he has drops a trigger 72% slower. It's actually quite funny. Damn, he can barely he can barely do anything. Well, my dragon is at 37 attack, right? A book of ice is broken. I'll tell you that much for free. Yeah, says cap and proceeds to skip cap. Honestly, I'm blind to caps because I just never play them. But I think I think they're mandatory. Boom. Reading master today. That's for sure. Interesting is I've never been master before. So I've been I've been attempting master, but in the demo version, I've actually never gotten in. And the reason is because everything is rigged. <laughs> so it's not me. It's the game. Listen. I mean, listen. Like, seriously. Perfect start again. The only difference here that he has a shield and he's going to stop our attacks while we have a banana that might heal us. But what does heal use us when we are not being able to deal with the damage back? I mean, he might be out of stamina, right? But it's not it's not as good as the end. That is a funny pack. And the very important thing about the funny pack, and I talked about this earlier, is... Yes, I could make both weapons hit faster. But what's the use for both weapons to hit faster if you don't have the stamina to follow up on what you're doing? Uh, we're going to make this a burning coal. Yes, I'm not going to make a second torch. Two torches will be bad. Two bananas is good. And we're going to buy this for armor right now. So that should work. We need the next banana. We might have the axe already for a lot of damage. But look look at our heal now. And our stamina being up all the time. That's very important. Ugh. Damn, that's already the burning sword again. I'm I'm lucky. I kind of want to buy the banana, and I'm just going to buy the banana. <laughs> kind of want to, so I'm just kind of gonna. Just wanted to have more damage. Faster trigger doesn't help. More damage does help, though. It's going to be a burning hero sword straight out of the window instant win and if if i like i sh i should win every single round until the um let's buy this for one and three and refresh probably don't even refresh look at the banana guys the double the double speed increase it's a speed nana I don't want to use all these flames. Let me refresh one time and get nothing. And sell this to make another burning coal. The Sorkin, what's up? How are you doing? Okay, chat, if you see a cap, you need to start yelling cab. It's very important. We need those caps. We can't we can't be living without them. It's the leading cause of destruction right now that our caps are not capping hard enough okay perfection ladies and gentlemen absolute perfection put all the heat in i don't want that blueberry but on the other hand not yet that is for my next sword that's perfection times two Tired from wrangling the children to kindergarten. Isn't that a bit late for that? 
Don't you don't you ring like don't you wrangle the children to kindergarten early? Maybe I, I don't know how it is in the Nordic countries and like we we bring like uh, my children were at 720 in the kindergarten. 720 kind of sounds early, but it's just the norm. Oh, actually, people bring their kids way earlier too. Okay, I could do this and then that. That would be the maximum efficiency bananas, but I kind of don't feel that. I'm not vibing it. And I could also put the pepper here, that here, and then the banana there. Kind of. Do you want to buy the flute for free right now? I buy it for three and I can sell it for three again. We're from, I'm from Germany. I would normally start work at nine and take them at like 8.30. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I, I start working at eight, so so we bring them earlier. I mean, also they want to go. Like, like it's kind of like there's... <laughs> I mean, they want to meet their friends. So, so bringing them to kindergarten early is kind of like a no-brainer because they're like, bring us now or we're going to beat you. Like, please don't. Okay, I need this corrupted crystal. I really need it. Like, like it's it's a very fixed part of this this board. The problem is if you're buying the corrupted crystal this early and not putting out, it, it feels like a bit of a waste, which it is. And right now we could use it for bonus damage if I want to, to just twack harder, right? We bought an apartment right next to the kindergarten. We bring our daughter usually around eight-ish. Yeah, we we like we are living two minutes away from the kindergarten as well, like like literally two minutes. But that's because it's like our village kindergarten essentially. So so this is like the the new building area with our kindergarten being right around the corner. Hey, okay, Cryomancer. I do want the Goobert, but I just don't see how I could do it. Right, I get the Goobert right now and it's not going to do anything for us. I'm not literally, like, I, I can't put it out. Well, that's the armor that we want to. <laughs> Having a problem here, chat, of not being able to play what we need to play. Put the two weapons out. Let's refresh again. Shit, we need that too. Thank you. I was a bit greedy there on the, on the pack. Mm, let's see how we let's see how we reorganize this. Like I, I don't like any of this. Okay. Step one: we need the weapons to be a bit faster, right? Step two: we want the banana to be a speed banana. This should be here so the frozen flame can be in there. I would leave one one empty. I, I I just don't see how I could organize this right now, so so none is none is like empty in any way, right? Just what it is. Very inefficient, I hate it. I hate it. It is what it is. I just have to live with this. It's all about the like the frozen flame needs to be there. They don't want to be there, but at the same time, they do everything in their power to annoy me. They uh, they do want to be there, but they do everything in their power to annoy you. Yep. <laughs> we, we have a we have a no nonsense policy in the morning, aka you like you you're allowed. You know you you can do whatever you want, but in the morning you're 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 better you better listen and 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 follow. You know. Oh, wow. I just got... He just got full heat and then just beat me bloody. I need that armor out, but you can see I can barely afford getting the armor out, right? So I need to buy the armor. 
But I need the space to put the armor out too. Plenty stupid right now because how, how am I going to ever get the space? Jesus Christ, give me, give me the space for the armor right now. I'm going to buy it. Just, I'm going to buy it just to have it. Okay, listen. I will, I will do that just to have it. more money now he, he gets thorns we're instantly removing his thorns we're getting the heed we're getting the crits we have like we have zero defense right now so we're getting just our our life twacked out of us when i can buy this which is great that's a frost bolt which would be great as well and that's a whetstone which is great times two so step number one would be right now making the making the burning blade and we do really need the goobert and we like we need all of this <laughs> i need everything to make this work but most importantly we just do need the armor badly because right now we're getting blinded correct and we can remove some of these debuffs but we can only remove these debuffs when when we're having like our shit going on now yeah, we're, we're right now step one is getting the armor out okay burning burning blade burning blade step one this is at least developing in a in an okay manner this might be having to be sold at some point sun armor for this round, we don't need to actually tackle that right now. We can just have the sun armor be inconsequential. Okay, chili, chili, and then. Wayne, chili, and that. Banana, and banana? Somewhat, somewhat? Somewhat, somewhat? Jesus, give me that so I can put him here. Okay. <sighs> but I could also buy the Frostbolt if I want to. That's more armor. And I can lock the Goobird for next round. Okay, well, we're getting we're getting there, Chan. So we, we get the armor, we get the debuff cleansing, we are getting rid of the poison so the poison doesn't overwhelm us. We have the stamina production, which is good, so that we constantly stamina. I mean, I don't like, I just rarely see the out of stamina thingy. And we are finally, I think we finally have reached the point of we're content. But yeah, you do, you do notice our space issue most of the time, right? It's, it's bad. bad that's a goobird and the problem is that the goobird so the thing is that okay, we need to pull everything down the goobird needs to be touching the weapons and these two it's like that's like goobird 101 okay this is goobird 101 Chili, dad, banana. That means I couldn't put the second banana down and that would be bad. I want a third one. I need space right now. That needs to be on the armor. That needs to be here. Thank you. Oh God, Jesus, yes. Okay, we get space. 
Phase means I can do two bananas. I can do that one as well. And the flyer. And we get the book. Okay. Now we just need mana, but db db. Mana mana, but db deem. Okay, that's that's cute because he's like trying to outluck us and he's trying to I don't even know, like he did do a lot of damage to the bows, right? But that that is usually really nicely kept in check here with us with the with the armor, just healing us good. And before he reaches like the point where it gets problematic, we have him under control. Yeah, finally the chili goobered after all this struggles we went through. Now we can have both bananas touch the thingy, right? To be more efficient. Uh, we get the frost book, the book of frost. We need the mana orb. Fuck. So how am I going to get the, fr I need to sell the flute and I hate it, but we need the flute too. I need to sell the pig and the flame to get the mana orb. Friggity fraggity. Through. Okay. <laughs> it looks ugly. It does do the job. Actually, we need to flick this around because the thingy needs to trigger more. The problem is it only triggers when actually activated, but that is activated, but these are activated. The problem is that this is not getting infinitely activated, so it would be better if the flute was actually there. But if I flick this around, that actually has the chance to trigger that too. Yes, swap the book. I did, I did, I did. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And there's a cap. Locked. Thank you. Almost forget about the cap. Here's the dragons. The dragons are strong out of the house. Dragons can be scary. But right now we have a lot of frost. So that, that really neuters his dragons because they attack so fast, right? But we're essentially like, he, he would be like super quick, but right now we're slowing him down to then do more damage. And that helped so much. That's our second crystal, more frost. And yes, we didn't buy the cap again. More frost, more better. Oh, I want the chili pepper. I needed that cap for the... No, actually, I did not. What the hell does he have right now? I mean, that's an interesting fight, but here, getting slowed down so much. It's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm not sure what you were playing, my friend. But you get slowed to a standstill, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to buy the cap. We're going to buy the pepper. The pepper is mandatory. Um, The pepper comes in here. That comes there. So that's good, right? Sweet potato, thank you for the 22 months of support. Sweet potato, good to see you back. Chat, if you found your Prime Gaming subscription, use it somewhere on Twitch. Right now here, thank you. We get the cap in, and we're going to buy the third Draconic Orb. Uh, we do have the mana. Do we actually have the mana? I feel like this might not be not enough for mana production, so let's actually figure out if we do have enough mana. So this triggers every 1.8 seconds, and we are producing... Yeah, we could, we could be producing a little bit more mana to just apply more frost. Oh, that's a second book. No, that's bad. I want the second book, that's for sure. Because if I have two books, and each of these books are triggering, like, look at this. So right now, we use two to inflict and 10% chance to cast the spell scroll for free. So we can essentially, like, these two books trigger and they cast the spell scrolls maybe for free. But for this, I will need more mana, a DBDB. Best part is now for inflicting frost, we get armor. Look at the thingies. So we got 12 armor now, right? We got another 12 armor. So 24 armor this match gained only from them. We get another 12 armor. So that's another 12. So so that's already like just 24 armor gained there. I mean, we, did, we didn't win. We just beaten by the hungry blade and the hero long sword just buffing the freaking like claws and everything way too much so he completely shredded us and with his 11 stupid vampirism destroyed us and we couldn't remove enough vampirism that's a problem that's a third crystal that's kind of cute and yes if i make a crystal combined with this i will reduce his healing so maybe maybe i should But we're 
looking for a mana crystal. Thank you. Now, how am I going to get you integrated into this shithole? I mean, yeah, when worst comes to worst, I'll just do that. Where do I put the other mana crystal now? I mean, the flute, the flute can trigger it. And the armor can trigger it too. I have one banana trigger it, but that seems inefficient. One banana, that, yeah, I know. Not really satisfied with this, but I think this should work. Oh god, that's 90% less healing. <gasps> I mean, at least we're getting armor, so so that that's a good thing. Like, we might get less healing, but we're actually getting a huge chunk of armor. But Jesus, we're just getting destroyed by the minus healing. Very strong, but yet we survived. Yeah, that cap was too late. We got to go for that earlier. Jersey Psycho, thank you and good to see you there. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the backpack battles, which I do really have a fable for. I mean, this is one of these games I could play every day, which I'm doing too. Uh, we buy the buckler, we buy the banana, and I should probably put my wooden sword on storage and buy this for free. Right now, each item was essentially bought for free, right? So the pan and the buckler can be straight up sold. And that's why I like to do this, since there's no downside of me doing this. Uh, we get the bonus piggy. We lock these two because we need them. And and right now, I was playing the pan and the banana, but I'm going to sell the pan to play the sword and instantly make a torch. So that's even better than I only have to lock this. Again, no money was wasted because it was for free, right? Which should allow us to win because the buckler is going to make him go out of stamina straight away. That even with one weapon, we are able to beat him. And now we get a burning torch, double sword combo into even more space. To put the two swords out. To put this so I can get the piggy better. And we can already lock these two items and buy ourselves this one for free. For one round only, but right now it's like a bonus heal. So why wouldn't we get it, right? When it gives us like the two heal, regeneration, one health stack for every two seconds. Right? That's just a bonus healing that he can't contend with. Because we have the healing from the banana. We have that healing and we'll just straight up win. And again, the, the early rounds are only about just making sure you don't lose ever. So we're going to buy the banana and the chili. I could sell the buckler, put the second banana out, put the chili in, turn this around, refresh one time. buy the stamina but i think i'm better off getting the lump of coal right now and then lock this i mean this one also wants to be sold we could buy a second piggy but mm, that would lose me three heat but not only three heat it would lose me 10 hp i don't think i like that I could try to play single sword just to get more money. Yeah, that, that might be greedy, but I think it's a torch, a burning torch with... That might, that might work from a stamina perspective because we'll just simply not run out of stamina. I'm not sure if he can out heal us. That's the problem, but we also have triple heal items. Right? He's out of stamina already. And we get the burning torch, which gradually gets stronger with every hit. And his Goobert is healing a lot, but this one is already at 10 attack, right? So he's getting smashed silly. And we now get bonus gold. Ta-da. Back in action. Put the piggy up here. Put this one higher. Sword back. Both get bonus attack. 
and perfection. Both piggies are giving us good resources now. And we got our shit going on. Works, right? Did you quit Diablo? No. Just made a video about it, sir. A very built form of Necromancer of Empire or pure Necromancer. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can do a Necromancer of Empire here, sir. Weird. Mm, let's go. That's another banana, but another banana is not worth it. So we're going to essentially move the whole... We're going to move this to the side because it has nothing to do with this, right? But it's two things working independent of each other. We can move the sword over. To put more flames into... Actually, this way around because that's another fire item then. For all the fire items we're getting bonus. That's a goober. That's That's perfect. How do I get the Goober transformed now? Hmm. Ryan. Well, it might me lose some heat and some damage, but we would gain in total a chance to transform this Goobird. And the Goobird is just not too, like five item activations being nine heal is just too good. Especially when you combine it with a chili and it's like nine heal plus more. Especially since five item activations, like this happens every four seconds, right? But if you can have five item activations under four seconds, that's where that's where shit just hits the fan, right? And you can do it this fast. only problem is that we only have two bananas to activate this right so our our one side is like really fast our other side is super slow because bananas to activate goober is kind of like a lackluster We want that crystal, but I feel like buying the crystal right now would be a mistake. But it, like the crystal is a fixed part of this whole setup. We just don't have an armor to put it in right now. If your English is bad. You want to try to improve it. Well, that, then the first step, like more English. Is there still a higher chance to get common items in the early shop so that then it would be more worth to rebuild gold instead of saving it to maybe find another whetstone? Um, I, I don't know. There's no confirmation for that or unconfirmation, so I can actually not tell you. How likely is or unlikely it is to get really good items. We want the armor. Honestly, we want the armor unconditional. I think this is why one of these things that you just need to buy straight away. Like the later you get it, the worse it is. So I'd rather sell a piggy, keep the other piggy and just take that as like our, our starting shot because the armor just is like such a key piece of this whole build. It just makes us good. It just cleanses poison in the beginning. I mean, in its base form, it's not good enough. That's for sure. But in the secondary form, it's like where it shines, especially now with the crystal together on the cryo. We need another... We need this. That's undeniable. Give me... Fuck you. No, I was so unlucky. Uh, we need the flames around here as much as we can. We do need the chili, so I'm probably gonna buy sell the second piggy bang right now. 
get another chili, even though that field's bad. And yes, we still don't have our sword transformed, so that's lacking. Dota 2 chest beta test. I mean, Dota 2 chest beta test lit was quite a good time. Skip the cap. Yes, the cap is not important in the early game. I mean, right now we have so many other things that we essentially need to make this work. Like, yes, we, we want the cap, but we don't want the cap, like, by all means, if that makes sense. We, we, need, we, we need the cap in a, in a reasonable, in a reasonable environment. That makes sense to you. So right now, it just wouldn't do much for us. Hmm. Mine, we're at least getting more heat gained, correct? He still has double sword and we don't even have a single sword. This is this is bad because he's just going to gain so much more heat than us. I mean, we, we can beat him silly, but he's going to hurt us. And his swords are just getting stronger. I mean, as you can see, they're at 15 damage per hit already. And we haven't even beaten him once. Yeah, he's... he's, he's uh, we need our sword. Buy this. Buy that. Roll. Sell the flute again. It was for free anyways. Lock this, lock that. We need both. Mm. Get a frost scroll. That's at least something. Trying to get him like three food activated. much to do about it Ooh, it's very annoying we could we could have had like that transform straight away there's larson daniel i don't know if larson is still making content at this point point. and you know a lot of the people that we used to do content with like they they did that all for for a time being right and then they stopped doing it like notice by the way our stamina problem right now he has two shields and they're really just out of stamina out of stamina out of stamina so we're attacking way less than we should merely because of lacking stamina which vice versa leads to less heat production and everything at the same time right so it makes things just less fortunate straight away well, I should have probably turned this into a torch as I was not getting the second whetstone. The sword is like kind of like a corner piece of our equipment. And if you're not getting it, it's it's really bad because we're gaining way less heat. I mean, right now we only have 22 heat gain, with it, which is a bummer. And dude, he's doing like a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, how are you doing that much damage? Holy. That's scary. Steal random buff. Yeah, he's just stealing our buffs, right? Triggers faster for each food. And then deal 5 damage and chance to inflict poison. He has the shield of valor. And this is gain 2 random buffs to make foods trigger faster. Wow. And your passive chance to activate twice. Wow. There was no... Like, I had no chance there. That's the truly first bat round today. Where we didn't even get our basic sword activated. Yeah, he's getting shield more than we do damage. Dude, his, his things were insane. Oh, no. Oh no, that's a goobert super early. But how can you say no to that? Correct? Okay, goobert can activate from weapon and from shield, by the way. That's the, the interesting part is if your opponent has two weapons, right? Like this. Uh, like every every time the shield activates due to being hit, that counts as an activation. So that's three times activated already. Right? So him him hitting my shield just just makes Scoobert work. 
nice nice way to to win the early game it's a banana we need that she, she see like we need all these items Attention to sell the banana, which which is a bummer. To really need the banana. At the same time, I need this. And we need that to upgrade our weapons. Like again, you, you need you need that you need that god bedoozled freaking freaking sword. It's really bitter if you sometimes don't get the whetstones. And yes, he, he put five sand on us. That means our weapons are hitting only with a 65% accuracy. We still do win because that goober heals us for days. Okay, making a torch. Step one, refresh. Now coming back to the original, do we make just straight away another torch, guys? When, we are not, when it doesn't look like we're getting a sword. And right now, I should sell the flame, even though that hurts, to buy the banana. The good thing about this game is, compared to other auto battlers, that I choose my own tempo. So I could just stop playing this right now and come back like in two or three days. I could, I could just go like, you know, I, I can just go AFK. I can just go to the toilet and I don't have to stress myself that... Everything is moving while I'm gone because it's simply not, right? Not moving while I'm gone. This time we're getting the items we want. Interesting enough, we can... Nah, we... Like, we could... We could buy another whetstone to make the super burning sword, but I just don't see that happening. I can go FK for two days? Yeah. If you hard roll round two, you usually force the whetstone. Yeah, you you could do that, but what if what if it doesn't work? It's kind of like the point, sure, you, you could try to hard force the whetstone, and I'm totally with you. But what if it doesn't work? Then you're then you're definitely screwed, right? Because of how how desperately you actually need the whetstone. And again, one could argue if you need the whetstone so desperately, maybe you should hard roll for it. Right? Next banana. Why not two goobirds? Uh, no space, and I'll never get them activated properly right now. When I, I'm barely getting one goobird good activated, but it's more like that all the healing in the world is useless uh, when when your opponents will later reduce your healing. So you want to have a combination of healing gained and armor gained. So what, one goobird is usually more than enough. But it really comes down to just not having the the space to use two goobirds. It's getting like really, really hard at some point to get these goobirds to do what you want to do. Oh, there's my Chile binary. Chile gamers represent. Got everything we needed, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and gentle ladies. We can sell the shield. Oh, wait. Wow, that was clutch. Rainbow Goobird, I don't think that's that's a reasonable option here. He's having like roughly the same going as me. His only advantage is that he has that stupid Draconic Orb, which is going to give him critical strikes. That's actually going to be a problem because if he now hits 15, then suddenly all of his weapons are critical striking. But he already had the problem of being out of stamina. So he has the exact same thing going on as me, but out of stamina. So right now you notice we have one Goobird, correct? One Goobird is nice. But it's again the the maximum you're kind of like gonna go for because how 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 am I going to guarantee activating two goobirds? I'm mean, sure you can do both weapons, so you can put a goobird at the end and the front of the weapon, but that requires a lot of space too to kind of pull off, right? 
So it's often not working. <laughs> Sturigus, I'm happy you're enjoying the backfire battle streams. Uh, that is my Volpertinger. That is a hard log. A hard log. And that is the, the freaking Corrupted Crystal reduced by four as well. It's a hard log times two. So the Volpertinger is insane, right? Because he gives us re three random debuffs we have the least of. But at the same time, he hires our base stamina production by 0.7, which essentially with two bananas kind of makes sure to keep the stamina production on a good level. So like stamina production is the most tricky, especially in the end game when your opponents are having like a bunch of shields. There's my Cryomansa represent. I want to buy the Volpertinger, but I can't afford it. I might actually just drop a flame just to get him out. Triggers 15% faster for each pad. Uber is a pad. And again, increases base stamina regeneration. Plus, every five seconds, gain three buffs, right? The thing is, every five seconds sounds kind of shitty, right? Uh, but it's not every five seconds. We have six heat. That's a 12% faster trigger. That's 3.88 seconds, correct? And then it goes like faster. 3.6, 3.5, 3.45, like 3.31, right? So, so later, when everything goes good, it's going to be more like every two and a half seconds. He just gives us one. And, like, he gives us wholesale everything, right? Now, I do want that holy armor, but I can't afford it. And I do want the draconic orb. The draconic orb, I mainly want to just put here. This is making everything trigger faster. Then we're going to keep our gold. I'm not going to reroll anything. We need the holy armor now next. That's a Phoenix and Double Swords were so dead. Problem is the Double Swords are hiring the damage of everything. I mean, that Phoenix is doing 24 damage already, right? And then he heals, and we have a problem not being able to kill him. The biggest problem is, like, again, for every heat gain, right, he gets, like, the plus one damage, and that Phoenix is doing 28 damage at the end. Ugh. I'd have to start experimenting with Double Sword as well. Mm, we need this and that. And now let's see how I can get this in. I mean, step one is going to be... Do I have to sacrifice the armor? No, I don't want to make corrupted armor. Uh-uh. That ain't happening. I don't even know what corrupted armor is. Yeah, that shield is going. Mini shield has to go away. Yep, sadly, mini shield has to go away. I mean, it's okay because we're getting the sun armor and the sun armor is really the bread and butter of this build the only downside is that the sun armor is burning our shit away but it should be fine I mean, right now with a volpertinger look at our stamina our stamina is truly like always high so we're not having that problem of not attacking because if we're not not attacking we're not making heat but if we're not attacking we're not only not making heat at the same time as we're not attacking we're not not only not 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 making heat but we're also not triggering the chili goobert right so it's kind of like no chili goobert triggers no heat production nothing sadness everything goes to shit and we kind of want the we, we kind of want slash need the shield of valor in here i, I kind of noticed how we have been missing out on the shield of valor now many times We can only triple some flames, sadly. Just don't see how we are getting the Shield of Valor in. That is a customer card. That's such a such a shit item right now, but at the same time, we, we need it. Uh, that is a blueberry. Why is it such a shit item right now? Because it it's like money that doesn't do anything for us yet. But it will do more for us in the future. 
Oh yeah, this 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 like where we're talking about like he's getting frozen shot. We're getting the bonus armor. See now now things things are working nicely together. Okay, I, I think the shield is mandatory. It's it's actually not even the cap of resilience. Yes, I said it, chat. We need the cap. But I think it's actually not the cap. I think I've been I've been doing this wrong. I'm relying on the cap while I shouldn't have. Another Volpertinger would be nice, but two Volpertingers is like space issues. Okay, let me let's let's remove all of this for now. Okay, we need the sun armor right now here. That one needs to go on the side. That needs to go here and here. It's like a mandatory setup to get the armor activated. Ubered in the middle. Forge and that. This on the other side. Have him. Good. We need you on top. We need you frosting. The fastest fruit is the blueberry. <laughs> the fastest fruit. It's the blueberry, Chad. In case you weren't aware of this, but the fastest fruit is the blueberry. In case that that like you know that wasn't clear to you, you like you scoundrel, an intelligent person, yeah, blueberry. We're getting a frost spell. That's nice. That's more frost. It's a second customer card, and I feel like I'm overdoing it here right now. Just really playing this very risky, but it should work. It's like Tetris. Yes. I mean, it's it's an inventory management simulator, but at the same time, you get to have all your buffs working out perfectly, right? And everything hand in hand, so you can overwhelm your opponent. I do really like the whole layers and nuances the game has to offer. Since it's just not simply that, right? It's like, how do I make the, the most out of what I have? Oh, shit. That's great. I just had everything perfectly aligned already. And now you're like, oh yeah, you know what? Uh, after you have everything perfectly aligned, help out you change your things up again. And I really do want that chili and I do want that book of frost. Okay, next turn we'll need the book of frost and I'll need the second blueberry too. Good. Oh shit, that should have touched the Volpertinger because the Volpertinger is godly. Even better. Because the Volpertinger just prevents... Um, oh, you're getting twacked! Twacked! The Volpertinger prevents uh, like, like then debuffs. Okay. Mm, we need this and we need that. So now we need to have the scroll touch the book and the books touch the scroll, but we need this to touch that as well. What if I put this on the bottom here? Yeah. And the only issue is I need the Wolpertinger to also touch the... Blueberry involved there. Okay, here he's touching two things, so four debuffs are being deflected. Ha! Ha! Okay. We'll see. He does have a lot of annoying things to afflict a lot of debuffs on me, but we're we're making him like slow as fuck. Look at that. He's he's like his dudes are so much like less triggering right now. Because of what I have, and we're triggering so much faster, dude. I beat the living shit out of you. We need to swap these around because this is the more efficient weapon. Again, the sword is good, but the lower one is better. Stone heat. On hit can only be thrown once per battle. 
Can reach weapons gain eight damage. Wow. 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 Especially because you like. Wow. That's a lot of damage plus. I just don't have space for it. <laughs> yeah, we want the tiny dragon. That's for sure. So we can actually put it here. That's, that's a mandatory one. Oh, that's a nice position for the banana. That's actually an even better position here right now. No, wait, you know what? That, that's what's better. That's triple. That's a that's a that's a double. That's that's a single. And if I put this like here, yeah, that's even better. I like that. She really like that. That flame is wrong way turned. I don't like that. I kind of want the artifact stone heat. Oh, good. That's another frost poke. Yep. Oh, like, if I get the next Frost book, I'll be having to reorganize the whole shit. And I'm not looking forward to that. But we need another four rounds, so... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He has a long battle rage happening. We need to freeze him as much as possible. Look at that. Like, the more Frost he has... So, like, now his axe triggers every 0 0.1 seconds because of the battle rage, right? But if I didn't have 26 Frost, guys, it would trigger, like, 50% faster than it already triggers right now. Right? And we're just gradually, gradually making it trigger even slower... That, that he's just not, like, completely twacking the living shit out of us. I mean, he's still he's still doing this, but we're at 60 heat, so we're also... Yes! 100 damage. Bomb, bomb. Dip, triple, triple twackers. Look at this. The burning torch. 52 heat. That's 105% bonus critical strike damage. Slammed him silly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I do want both books to touch the frozen flame for the maximum bonus armor. But on the other hand, I just want both books to touch the scroll for the maximum free casting, right? And the more he touches, the more casts he gets too. So increase by each ice item extra except spell scrolls. So he's getting more casting. That's more armor. And they're like triggering more scrolls. I think I need to get rid of the notion of me needing like more armor in this case because I because I often like put it like, like this way because I think I, I would need more armor. But the reality is that I actually don't need more armor. Mm. I know that's a bit shitty, but it's like the way how I can integrate the banana up there. Take more heat now. Maximum heat, actually. That heart would be good, too. Do you keep going like that until you die? Is there endgame? Sure. And, uh, we keep going for another three rounds for maximum rating. And the more rounds I win, the more ratings I get. So it's all about uh, improving your rating. You have to win 10 times. And 10 times, you're more or less plus minus zero at, at least uh, at a high rating. Okay. And then I go for the bonus rounds. So I, I won 10 with a lot of life. In total, there are 17 rounds possible. That would be maximum rating. Since I lost two rounds in between, I can only go for 15 rounds total. And the more rounds I win, the, the better it goes, obviously. That's another dragon. So that's not now 15 crits in a row. That's another frost book. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, can I have three frost books surrounding that one spell scroll and peppering it from every single corner? That seems kind of like overdoing it, but you know what? I would be fine. <laughs> Eric, thank you for the 23 months. Happy to see you still uh, lurking and having fun. Uh, Chad, he has one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means his first 30 attacks are all crits. And yet, Despite your first 30 attacks being all crits, we're almost win this. So now we lost a round, right? That means less rating for a round loss. But I don't think there was anything I could have done about that, for sure. Uh, as much as I want to buy this book, my problem right now is that we don't have the mana to buy the book. We don't have the thingy to use the... Yeah, we don't, we don't have anything to use these things right now.
Hmm. I mean, this is the last round. You can see bottom left corner, more crits. Sure, let's go. Let's trigger Goobert even faster. Good. Oh, there's my mana berry. That's what I was looking for. More mana, more better. Mm-hmm. More armor. Because I need, like, the problem is that these trigger, like, super fast, and we don't have the mana going on for that. I mean, the Wolpertina gives us some, too. Like, we have zero right now, then we have two. Correct. There's more frost. There's two. There's another two. The Volpertinger helps us with the mana production that we can get enough freeze on. I mean, we have like 41 freeze. That's crazy. 50 freeze. Damn. Yes. New Mirror City. This one is for you. 14 and three, which makes then another 11 ranking. And again, if you don't actually get there, you get minus ranking chat. So right now we're 83. But if I, for example, only get six wins, I get minus seven raking, right? Trinet, Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, 130 viewer rate for Mr. Trinet123. That is, that is, that's a lot. Cheers. Pleasure. Howdy, everyone. Hope you're not getting pre-rolls right now. You're not getting pre-rolls. I turned that off. Yeah. Greetings. Trinet, that's very kind. Get the sword. Buy the healing herbs. Don't get the broom. Buy these two because they're for free. Flip. Make the torch. Should buy the shield if I was smart. Again, you know me as a shield denier. But the thing is, with the healing herbs and the shield, I'm kind of unkillable in the beginning. So this should be brain dead. Like, yeah, he has double sword. He's actually he should be losing this like easy. Like, no, 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 no stamina for you. No attacks while I heal up passively the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, sir. No GG for you. Adding a piggy to this. Adding a banana to that for even more stamina. And then the whetstone for my next sword. And then next turn is all about like actually getting that whetstone, right? Oh, he does have the big axe. That's going to be a problem. Even with my passive regeneration and so on, we might be better off on the twacking, but he just, he just kills us too fast. Yeah, we get the sword. We get the stone. Now it might be seem silly to roll because we can't actually use the roll we're doing, right? But I'm going to roll once. I'm going to roll twice just to force a potential second whetstone. And then we get none and we're unhappy. And then we get none and that's actually bad. Well, we don't have to sell it right now. Keep it for the time being. And we could have sold it to like force roll more. Oh, that's bad. You get a shovel, short bow, and the torch. I mean, you're going to be stamina drained straight away. <laughs> that's like that's like the disadvantage of three weapons that early. Oh, that, like, ladies and gentlemen, Lucky Hoff in the chat. And a chili. Woo. Removing places chat. Look, look at this. We got the straight up upgraded weapon. We're going to get the sword upgraded. We're playing in someone who, who, who likes the chibi characters. But again, he, two weapons into the wooden buckler. It's kind of like if you don't get the wooden buckler discounted, it's still such a no-brainer item to buy, uh, like at how good it is. Shit, we're getting 20% less accuracy right now. Stop, stop minus accuracy us. I don't want to lose to a shovel because of that. 
That's the most frustrating loss. Nothing we could have done about it. You go up here. You go there. And I should probably sell the shield to get the banana straight away. We're not doing that. And we get the burning sword. Maybe Trent goes to a second burning sword, but I already have like my problems getting like one burning sword running at times, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, we almost lost that. You know, like you have your troubles running like uh two burning like like another burning sword, so might be a bit gritty there. Banana, come on, give me something. Bonus hit, bonus banana. Bonus banana, bonus fire. Click this to activate the piggy at least once. Mm-hmm. I mean, want the goobird, don't have space for the goobird. That's not true. We could sell the shield and instantly make the goobird, but I feel like that would be extra. Now with the sword and the torch and the double, yeah, we, sh we shouldn't be losing against your axe, even though you got the gloves already and the bonus armor. I said we shouldn't be losing against the axe, but here we are still losing. Pain. Goobird. If we had the goobird, we would have not lost. That's the, the harsh reality. Okay, that there. Bomb, 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 bomb. Chili goobird. Wait. Chili, chili goobird. Banana, banana. No. Chili, chili goobird, double banana. Weapon, weapon. Piggy. Roll, dragon, torch. Dragon is fantastic. I know Phoenix, I don't like Phoenix. And the way how I'm going about the gameplay, so we're playing a Cryomancer, Phoenix doesn't add to the Cryomancer gameplay. So that, that's an existing issue of the, the Phoenix. It just doesn't do anything for us in that regard. So we're always playing Cryomancer. We're Cryomancer number one. With the Draconic Orb as well. It's actually a killer star. You can go there. Piggy, you can't be there. Sorry, man. <laughs> Refresh. Oh, that's another chili. We want that for sure. Can I get the... No, so can I get the buckler in somehow? I can. I mean, this looks ugly because it is ugly. But at least... Uh, no, no, no. Flip. But at least we're having the Goobert activated as much as possible. We have the frost going on as much as possible because we're starting with 10 heat. That's at least four cold, right? It's another 8% more crit. Then we have like another, like we're, we're producing quite some heat to slow him down. So that's good. We're not getting rid of the blind at all. So we have no debuff. Removal. That and one blueberry already. That's the second one. That's insane. I should probably sell the buckler to buy the orb to activate this harder to get some crits to be better off. I hope that works and doesn't bite me in the boot. Hey, yep, that's a nice one. Like chili three times. That's all we care about. Maximum chili. How many wins do you need to improve your rating? At least nine. I think at this rating right now at master, you actually do need 10. Okay, we're just losing against that double phoenix or what? No, no, you, no, like, heal, heal. I was hoping for more heal so we could beat the double phoenix. 
So I think I need at least um, 10 to actually do improve my rating. So like it's it's not it's not it's not easy. So double piggies giving me the most possible. Uh, Book of Frost. Uh, I do want the corrupted crystal, but I have nothing to put it on. Hmm. Nah, I can't lock in. How many? So, so close. Yeah, I mean, th this this round here is just just going okay. Not good to be honest. We're mainly we're mainly like have like a decent board going on, but we're we're far from like kicking in, essentially. As you can see, that's double book of frost. Mm. Well, we need one, and we need the next blueberry. Now it's all about more heat. The blueberries are just secondary. We locked the second book of frost. It's just about luck or did you make bad choices? No, my choices were actually on point. We just lost some of the early rounds, unfortunate. I mean, we've been losing to a couple of rounds due to getting blinded. That's a bit unlucky. Uh, we are also losing because we're not having the armor going on. But then again, I don't have the armor. That means I should have kept the buckler probably. So it's kind of like it's a combination of like bad luck, bad choices, and, and things just not going as good as they could, essentially. Like a little bit of everything. Well, that's a, that's a Volpertinger. I need that. But as much as I need it, I can't just simply go for it straight away. Because we need to get the Book of Frost activated too. I'm not sure if that makes sense because now two Books of Frost is nice, right? But we don't have the mana production for us. Because right now what we're doing is we're producing every 2.6 seconds of mana, but we need every 2.27 seconds to mana, right? So you notice how we can't actually get these books to consistently trigger, and that's that is an issue. Now you notice how we have 24 poison, and if we had that holy armor, we wouldn't have that poison. We're still winning though, because right now we have only one try left, but with only one try left, you're playing against the other one triers, correct? We want that armor. So, so that's an interesting point that often doesn't get mentioned. When you when you have only one try left, you're playing against the other people who also only have one try left. Oh, we could sell the two piggies, but that wouldn't be enough. I need the armor next turn. So the thing is, we're also just facing like uh, we're, we're forcing just one build and that that's always a little bit tricky, right? We're not willing to to look left or right. See, now now we lost. I mean, this uh, Lantern Phoenix play and the Lantern Phoenix play, as you see, is vastly less sophisticated at what we're putting down, but it's very strong, very strong, especially deal 10 damage for each fire item and inflict six debuffs for each dark item. And that one is dangerous because he does have the double. Actually, he didn't even buff it with the double sword because he has the, the wrong way around. <laughs> you would you'd actually have to turn his Phoenix around to get more out of the Phoenix. But yeah, um, he, he has like the, the killer board for the double buffs. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy. Now you can see we are currently at uh, three losses, right? We, we only had six, seven wins. So three less and we should have like minus five rating. So that, that's already bad round because only minus rating. But I think it's mostly down to myself. Because we could have played this different shit. Customer card and Walrus Tusk into one flame because it's for free. Refresh. Uh, get the Whetstone. Sell the Walrus Tusk already because it cost the same as it was for buying. And then get this. The most... The most basic start, but also the least good start, because we have the two swords, and if our opponent has a buckler right now, we straight up lose. And right now, we essentially have the same start as her, and it comes a little bit down here to RNG, because weapons do two to four damage, right? And they might do now the maximum amount of damage, or they might not do the maximum amount of damage. It's a bit sad when you're facing a matchup like this where it really comes down to just who who has the more luck hitting. All 
right? That can be a bit unfortunate. Throw the stone. It's one stone, but the stone throws for two to five. It's annoying to lose any of the early rounds because the early rounds are like the ones you, you don't want to lose. Oh, we're going to lose two to stamina. We're going to lose two to stamina. We're out of stamina. Should have put the other sword away, if I'm honest with you. For now. Mm. Buy the banana for the stamina. Gives us less heed, but makes us in total more awesome. Buy this for free. Sell it. Actually, you know what? Nope, should have put it there. Can we buy this game from somewhere to support you? No, sadly not. Uh, you cannot buy this to support me, but you can just buy it if you like it. Because why not? It's a, it's a good game. It deserves to be bought. You know what? I should have put the second sword away for the time being. This, this is like my main mistake here right now. So we're, we're losing due to having the two weapons. Because if you only have one weapon and the obvious stronger weapon, that weapon would attack more often and work better in total. Right now, we have a bunch of losses due to myself being a stubborn mule. Let's uh, reorganize this. We need this here. We need that there. We need this flipped around. Uh, we need to sell you to get that. We need to... Mm. I need to get the banana in somewhere. Yeah, that's the that's the best I have. Somewhat. Higher. Oh no, he 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 almost has double double sword. That's bad. I cannot compete with your double sword. I mean, at least he doesn't have an armor. Like I don't have an armor, so he, he's not breaking me stamina wise. Like, don't don't want this, but it's the only way to get that roll in. I will. Hmm. And we need more whetstones still. Oh no, we're again losing against a shield. I mean, you notice how we're really like often getting bucklered because we refuse to play buckler ourselves, mainly for space constraints. I mean, end of the day, like, you can always get bad matchups, and that that's like that's like one one thing you can't prepare for everything, right? You might face against anyone at any point. Uh, we're gonna make another torch, so that kind of stings for not making a sword, but I'm just making double torch then. Yep, that, that I'm not surprised that we would straight away get that item now. Because why wouldn't we? Right, chat. Why wouldn't we get that item now? La, 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 la. We are not surprised, but we also decided to not go for the sword currently. And that's going to be a bummer down the line because... Oh no, we're getting we're getting blinded. Blinded as bat. We should we should have enough though to actually win this because we're right now stealing thorns and everything from him, so that's good. 
We're getting the chili. No Phoenix. Second banana. Uh, that thingy. Mm, let me refresh one more time. See, I can sell two fire to buy this. To move things. To get that one next turn. Because that's the perfect Gubert setup, right? You're beating Mother Buckler. I mean, I, I would have assumed that we actually lose against the... Oh, shit. You got the Steel Goobird on two bows. That could be nasty. Because Steel Goobird buffs like the bows, so so they gradually get more damage. I mean, the, the only advantage is that he didn't have enough stamina production to pull that through. Okay, Cryo. Armor. Draconic Orb. Draconic Orb another time. Refresh. Get another Draconic Orb. That's bad because we can't use it. One, two, three, four. Cannot even use my Frozen Flame right now. Unless I'm willing to throw away the piggy. That feels bad. Don't want to throw away the piggy. Want the Holy Armor. I know Phoenix because we're playing Freeze, and Phoenix doesn't really fit into the Freeze play at all. Because Freeze is to, to a degree a ramping play, and the Phoenix uh, kind of counter, counter produces ramping plays. Like, literally kills us. Thank you for winning this. But we get the armor, but we can't play the armor. I mean, that one was for two, right? And that one, two, three flames. No money was lost during the production of this movie. Okay, the garlic has to wait for a turn. We have another chili. You double stack the funny packs for 20% weapon damage. Well, that, that, there's nothing wrong with doing this, but think about it. If you don't have the stamina to have your weapons attack fast enough, what is the double stack funny packs thing going to do for you? Because that that's like often the the thing where, where people double stack something like this, but you don't actually have the resources to pull it off. What are you going to do then, you know? What is all the attack speed? I could do double customer card, but I can't afford it. What is all the attack speed in the world use you if you simply can't pull it off? Right? I need that one too. And I'm like, the problem is I need that one and I need more, more area. Oh no, actually we, we needed to, I'm not screwed. I just, I just need more heat. More heat, more heat is more freeze, more freeze is more damage, more damage is more oomph. Um, right now we're we're not goodly matched because we're just we're just lacking the damage and everything. This is gonna be bad for not making the sword. Okay, we can get this for a little bit more armor. We can get that to actually finally get more heat. But that's not worth it right now. And I kind of want to select all of this together with all the others too. So that that is this area, right? Hmm. Probably this could be aligned better. Hmm. Don't really see how to. I want the hard, but I won't get the hard. You're gonna grab things in 15 flames. I mean, yeah, sure, sure. That's like very good. Use two molten daggers for no stamina use. You can absolutely do that, but this is no stamina board because we we want more heed. 
So we want more heat because the more heat we have, the more freeze we do. And the more the more heat we have, the faster we can do more freeze. So it's all about the maximum amount of freeze and the maximum amount of heat freeze and everything. Okay. That's why frost armor and ice armor is so good. If you could play it. <sighs> ice armor is so good. If we could play it somehow. Mm, let's sell the customer card just to have more. Okay. I need to get the frost armor somehow out. That's our main concern. Get the frost armor out. And now we need to get two bananas still activated. One banana, one chili, two bananas. But only one chili. I don't think there's another way to do this. Sacrifice the production of two. No, we can't sacrifice the production of two heat because we essentially need this here. I'm really align this better because if I do this and that, this kind of. All right, I need both bananas. That's the most important part. There's no two bananas, no, not enough stamina. No, no matter what I do, like we're in up here. Okay. Let's see how we're faring against the, the animals. I mean, right now they start with 10 frost, right? This one is using one heat to inflict two frost and gain 10 armor. So that's a really, really nice armor gain because it's happening like automatically. And that's also why you want to have like more heat continuously happening. The problem is he's actually stealing my heat away. Which is a bit of a bummer because it makes his like animals trigger like even faster. But that worked out. Now that we're making so much frost, we need the next second crystal. Well, that's a wooden buckler. That's even more frost. Yes. Worst, worst, worst case kind of like alignment. At least we get everything out, right? So we we have the the full. He has minus thirty percent heal on us. That's annoying. And if we had our sword, we'd do more damage. Because right now he does he does like a lot of damage. But see, like due to our armor, he doesn't really hurt as much. Right? It's it's nice crits and everything you're having, but you're so hardcore slowed down that you can't contend. Okay, for, come on, give me, give me, give me a four stack. Give me a four stack, chat. No, that's a five stack. That's the next armor. We need that too. Okay. Mm. Why does it always end up with me not being able to use all my bananas? Every single time. Is there a way to align this better here? Worst case scenario. That's that's what it is, chat. 
Some something, 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 something. Even more armor starred, so that's good. We get the buckler now for the minus damage. So so this should actually work really well against him. The only problem is he does have like a very good board with a lot of lifesteal and invulnerability and everything, and he's resisting our crits quite good. Actually resisting our crits quite nice. But look look at our AT armor. That's that's good. Oh, God, no. He's healing too much. He's healing too much. Unfortunate matchup. It's the one matchup I fear currently because my, my setup is working against everyone well to reduce, like, their attack speed, right? But versus him, it's harsh without the Molten Sword. Is he bypassing your armor? He is bypassing my armor. Uh, I don't know what exactly in that build actually bypasses the armor, I have to admit. I know something bypasses the armor. I just literally don't know what it was. Okay, we make a we make a stone shield in the beginning. Okay, this time let's uh, wooden buckler. This time we make a spike shield, and see that we like guarantee more of the wins. Like I think for the frost build, it's like kind of all about like make, just making sure I win the early game, to to then be good for the late game because I I already know how to how to act and play the late game very well. Right. Blue gemstones on axe actually per, 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 go past armor. Huh, interesting. That's a, that's a first knowledge wise to figure out because I I didn't know that before. Now now I'm smarter. Can you switch class at the beginning of every run? Yes, and every class has their own rating. It's actually really interesting and really well done in my eyes that every class has their own rating. That means you, like, if you're very inexperienced with something, you can still try it out without feeling like a complete idiot, right? That's in my eyes quite nice because I, I don't, like, if I, I'm a master pyromancer, I might still not know how to play the berserker correctly. Like, the knowledge doesn't one-to-one -one translate over, right? And I think that's, that's a very good thing. Master goal with every class rating. That, that's technically the, the goal, yes. Always. It's the next sword. Like now you might understand why I hate playing... Um, why, why I hate playing uh, the shield. Because right now, like again, we're, we're strapped for space. You got two burning swords... Ridiculous, but you're losing against the spike shield, you little idiot. Yeah. See? Make, making sure we win the early game. Now, my problem is, here, you don't want to enhance my weapon. So, I, I don't want my weapon here, my second weapon, to hit faster. Because I would not have the stamina to do this. This one is bought for free, so I can just sell it for free to buy the next banana. So you want you want more stamina to make sure that this keeps hitting. I mean, technically, I don't even want to put out the second sword because right now putting out a second sword and if he has a wooden buckler, I lose. But without a wooden buckler, my torch would attack more, do more damage, get me more heat and more everything. So it's kind of like to a detriment of me to put out the second sword currently until I can upgrade the sword, right? When you can upgrade the sword, things are looking a bit different again. That's why we're gonna like actually remove the sword right now. Buy the thorns. That's our goobird. Sell the thorn thorns. Get the goobird. Actually, screw in. Can activate that really regularly. Only one banana activation, but still can activate it. Uh, it would be better to put the spike shield here because shield activates this as well. It's pretty good. Discounted shop is random. Yes, discounted shop is random, which adds a bit of RNG to the game. But I think that's the fine amount of RNG being added. He's trying to kill us with his weapons, but his weapons are killing him. <laughs> he essentially just killed himself, right? Attacking into my spikes.
Still no second weapon. Yep, I know. Shame. I don't like bird. I could play Hungry Blade. I, you could play Hungry Blade because you can turn Hungry Blade into a Freezing Blade. But I still believe that I'll get I'll get what I'm looking for, Chan. I'm getting my I'm getting my second whetstone. I just need to wait long enough. Oh god, he, you have two axes, but two axes early is quite gritty because with two axes early, you will be completely out of stamina, sir. Yeah, two, two axes early and the hammer, like like how are they going to beat a wooden shield, Chan? That's a stupid dragon, and I have tried this dragon, and I wanted this dragon to be good, right? But he just didn't turn out to be good. I thought that the dragon would also get stronger, like, with every shit I do, right? And he would give me, like, cool heat bonus and whatsoever. But right now, with the frost, the dragon is just bad. I mean, even though he's, like, like very uncosty right now, you can just simply not play the dragon. <laughs> that's this and that both things are very good and yes you kind of want to buy the phoenix right now because he's heavily discounted but we do have on top of that nothing to kind of make the phoenix work and we're right now meeting an unfortunate matchup we should be losing straight away well, we, we're like we're okay right now we have like good heat gain. We have our one torch and like like now one torch seems bad, right? But it's just way better than you actually give it credit for. It's actually stupid how one torch can be can be such a such a good item. It literally shouldn't be. Mm. I want a corrupted crystal this early. Yeah, I still want one. I guess it's providing us with armor. Let's let's refresh. No, we're not going to refresh one time because that would be a waste right now. We're not buying the customer cart because I don't want rarer items currently. Oh, you get you get friendly fire. That's cute. And he he has the burning sword. Like with a friendly fire, look, look at how much how much bonus damage. This is 16 and 21, but mine is doing only 11. That's where that's where I'm just getting the shit beaten out of me. The cartmans are built most of the time. Like I, I've really gotten it down to a to a way of actually working. Really, most of the time, so I'm happy about it. You know, generally. But there's just so much more room for improvement. Especially when you're this unfortunate here right now. Well, that's a cartmancer book. That's nice. Especially with a second. Um, here but if you're not getting your sword you're like severely neutered now it all comes down to the nice amount of frost right so we're, we're getting like the frost from the book we're getting the frost from this we're getting the bonus armor so right now we're really gaining good values we're still losing against that weapon because we're not doing enough damage ourselves Mm, at this point, I want them both to hit faster. I think. That's perfect. That's almost good. Mm, step one is due to only having one weapon, right? We can actually make it hit faster. That's important. Like if you only have one weapon, there's no need for not trying to just make it hit faster. We still have the shield here because the shield actually gets so often activated. I feel like the shield gets more often activated than two chilies would be. Then again, the time might have come to actually start activating the chilies too.
Activates the book faster. Good. That should activate this one vastly faster now. That's like 2.4 seconds, 3 seconds, 1, and this is hitting even faster than ever before. What if we only have... Well, wow. Wow, he dealt so much damage to us. I'm, I'm really like the, the pet build is so scary. Probably the one thing we struggle with the most when, when they pet build us. Not sure what to do against it. That's our second, um... And technically, we want the faster triggering Goobird, but... Oi, yo, yo, yo. Oh, we're so dead. That's so bad. Like, I guess this, you need a significant amount more of damage. We'll have nothing. Holy. Well, this is definitely the worst this build has been today. So, so the worst uh, RNG of them all. There's not much we can do. Like, we could probably go for the thorns, but we don't actually have much thorns. So, that's also not, like, really working. It'd be good to have a second weapon. But if that second weapon is ass, what we're we gonna do with it? You know? It's kind of wasted. Another book of frost, which would be nice. Sadly, the book of frost can't turn anything. So it's not like the like you need the frost scroll to turn things, right? The book of frost doesn't turn. How are you winning? I mean, sure, you have the Steel Goober to give your axe more attack. So you're winning by armor and that's it? Yeah, he's winning by out-armoring me and then, then whacking me with a weapon. Uh-huh. Makes sense. It's like, how are you winning? Like, okay, it makes sense. You're winning like this. Okay, we need a plan B just in case we don't get the sword. Because one, one weapon is not an option. Right? We've felt that multiple times now. One one weapon is not an option. It brings us down more often than it does help us. So we, we need a plan B for this. I mean, the plan B is just get the weapon forehand. Right? And right now he lost because we simply had the buckler. Making one torch. Getting one banana over the piggy bank, even though I want the piggy bank badly, right? Oh no, we're not making a torch. We made a mistake. We're making a burning coal. That's bad. We clicked too fast. That is really bad. Blueberry piggy bank sword. None of these is what we need. Have the banana trigger faster. Get the second stone. You can unbind it during battle. Can you unbind it during battle? I've never tried. You can. Oh, hello there. Since when? I did not know. I feel so much smarter suddenly. 400% IQ increase. I really, 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 really don't want to sell the wooden buckler here right now. And I do really want the corrupted crystal too, because it only costs four. Put it down. Let's put it, let's do it like this. Yeah, yeah. 
Third down, is there a guide for the Frost Pyro? I mean, you can, you can watch, watch here alongside us and, and kind of find out what we're doing. And you can ask your questions. There's no guide yet. No, sorry. We're kind of like still trying to improve on, on minimal things. Like, you know, on, on making certain aspects of the build better. Um, especially improving the early game that we're always there. I mean, this is essentially... This is like the main body of the build, if I may say it like this, of really getting the, the burning sword together with the torch. And having a burning torch going on, right? Oh, well, you have the piggy give you the bonus money. Oh, come on now. We're not, I'm not having the space for this. And we're not gonna, we're gonna buy the pineapple just to sell the pineapple next turn. And salt. You give me more space. We can put you here. Now this could go on a weapon to just give us bonus damage. We need the chili next turn. That's amazing as well. I mean, end of the day, you need the burning sword paired together with a torch because the burning sword hires the damage of the torch and the torch is going to be your main tool of damage. Because the torch paired together with a cryo is just insane as we're going for maximum heat production, right? So now for every five heat we produce, the sword gives plus one damage to the torch. And the torch anyways can already get plus one damage, 35% chance, which is huge. Now we do on top have a chili happening, which is great. And we have a goobird. And goobird gets turned into a chili goobird. Perfection. I mean, you might have your little little thingy with your 25% lifesteal, which is actually pretty annoying, sir. But with my torches and my swords having, like, so much damage straight away, right? Insanity. We get two bananas. Eating each other. And that is our Draconic Orb. And you're going to buy every Draconic Orb you have. And your goal would be four Draconic Orbs to actually put around the Goobird. Why is four Draconic Orbs better than weapons that hit fast? Because Draconic Orbs hit half as fast as the weapon. The thing is, the weapons need stamina to hit, right? So if you're not having stamina at the moment, oh, thank you. Then, well, what are your weapons good for, right? Now we have arrived at the point where the sword buffs the weapon. We're now going to start to inflict frost. And that's why the corrupted crystal needs to be on the buckler. Since now for every five heat, we get two frost. And then for every frost we're getting, if we get seven frost, then we get six uh, shield. Kind of useful. I'm going to buy the draconic orb two. I'm going to buy one thingy to speed stuff up. We're going to flick one time. I'm gonna buy this for one because they're just for free, so they don't hurt anyone. Hmm. I want this. I want to sell one, two, three already to buy that. Buy this to move him down by one because then I can already put it here. <laughs> we want the chili and we technically want the second crystal, but I just don't see me getting the second crystal right now. This costs too much. The four for the crystal is poggy, yes, especially because you want the crystal. I mean, the thing is, you, like, so everything costs X, right? And you need to be at point X ready enough to already contend with the other people. So, yes, I need the crystals, but I think I'm doing the mistake of buying them too early. Because the crystals are nice, but I need them in the end game. So, I don't need these crystals early or that early at that. Right? I need them at some point. For example, what I would rather need right now is the shield. Because if I choose the shield over the buckler, that actually performs better. Now there's a world where I need to... Get to fire next to the shield to make a sun shield. We can't right now. You know what? I can I can do this here and do that here. I can put the fire here. 
Yeah, I hate this, but it works. <laughs> I hate this, but it works. It gives me the sun shield. It makes the goober trigger less, but again, it's actually not because this has a 35% chance to trigger. See, that's one trigger. That's two triggers. Three triggers. Then like notice about how my how my crystal has gotten me at least another another 12 armor this match, so that's really useful. Now I would really like to have the holy armor, but I just really don't see how I could have sun shield and holy armor currently out. Seems a bit unreasonable. I will actually <laughs> I will buy you because you will allow me to do this. Yeah, that makes the banana slower, but everything else faster. Okay, it's going to work, chat. This is going to work. But, like, as much as armor as we're getting here right now, he does have the blue things, 100% chance to attack health directly, right? So he's essentially hitting past my fancy pansy armor. And that, that's, like, one of the issues against this build when he's hitting, like, past my armor. His armor is essentially what I'm doing. Okay, I hate to do this. But what else what else could I do? My problem right now is I'm not even getting the two flames next to it. Yeah. This is horrible. I'm not even sure how much we would need the armor. So chance to prevent 14 damage and remove stamina, right? If the if the items gain shield, what if the shield is touching this armor? What then? Because it says if, if items gain if the star items gain shield, right? But do does the do the crystals count as the items touching it? I don't, I don't even know. Probably not, right? But it would be worth to figure out. Wayne, need you, nah, need you to... That here, this here, that here, this here. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Mm. Good. Then we need... This to touch both. Banana to touch everything. So that to touch here. And technically this to touch like this. Now we can put another fire in there. And we can put another fire in there. This could go here. And whenever this gains armor now, it actually gets like more armor and more damage. And he could go here. And this is absolutely ugly, but it kind of works. Uh, what, what do you mean with some of the analyzers, Sinek? Please, please precisize your question. We might have an issue here where he just outcrits us before we can kill him. Yeah. We need we need that crit prevention. I know I keep saying this, it keeps sounding like a broken record. I'm like, hmm. We do we choose a Wolpertinger at this point of the game? It allows me to hit more, so the Wolpertinger is really good. This is the first time we're playing actually the Sun Shield in this. And I'm not sure how much I like the Sun Shield happening here right now, because yes, the Sun Shield is adding to it, but at the same time I kind of feel like what what is the Sun Shield doing for us? 
Mock, sort, damage. Thank you. Okay, that was good because without the Volpertinger, we've never had the stamina to pull this through. The Sun Shield's probably draining enough stamina for days to make this work. Okay, could I please stop getting these because I have no use for this right now? I have no use for this right now. The is a pet, by the way. Really? Really? More? Okay, here. John. Volpertinger super triggers. Like right now, right now it's going to trigger 15% faster and double 10% faster. But that thing that gives me three random buffs, wow, like, like it's going to be with everything going on, it's going to like 2.9 seconds. It's three random buffs, which we have the least of. So vampirism, armor, luck, more vampirism, more buffs. Zach, it's, it's a real meanie, to be honest, because it's like gradually wearing the enemy down while we get everything plus, right? Still, I'm just not feeling well, Mr. Stark. I'll put another pet right next to it. Hmm. I mean, again, we're playing that frost board, and you might notice that we are out of frost, Chan. So you 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 thought that we would play a cryomancer, right? But the the cryo the cryo and cryomancer re re refers to me crying about not getting the items I need. Okay, that's that's what the, the yeah. Cool. Bye. What refers to? Uh, touching another fruit is like, what is it? It's 10% faster, right? So you might as well just sit in there and actually change. Okay, we get the book. So finally, finally, an item, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no. He's actually touching the wrong item the whole time. No wonder I'm losing Chan. The frozen flame is on the sword, but the sword is the weaker item because the sword has always less damage than the torch. Oh, no. I'm so bad at this game. I mean, you're getting your ass handed to you because you're by far not dealing. Look at that. I have 68 heat. Jesus. Everything triggers 140% faster. I mean, that at the end makes the Wolper Tinger on 1.7 seconds. Uh, Sunny, uh, like, show us your thumbnail. We can, we can look at it. Okay, so you can finally go down here. But technically, you can't go down there because you do actually need to touch the frozen flame because if the frozen flame gives us more armor, um, then, then it does damage as well. Uh, I kind of want the mana orb. I kind of don't want the mana orb. Actually, it just works in that position really well. I could be adding a, a mana sword to this. Because I, I often make mana that I don't use, but what if I aim for adding a mana sword to this? Hmm. Could be an interesting one. Oh, well, that's more crits. Recipes, uh, we could add a mana thirst on hit, gain mana, and then steal life, but it doesn't get stronger, no. We need a scaling, we need like a scaling weapon for this. I mean, you could play the Staff of Fire, right? I, but like actually the Staff of Fire for this would be good. But then it would be like a Staff of Fire plus Ice magic together. I mean, right now we're doing like a lot of frost as you can see. We're just really stacking this up nicely, right? And we need more frosty mech snowman. I, I don't want to get more fanny packs. I want to get my frost armor. This is very, very unsatisfying. It's another book of frost. It's another book of frost.
I would have to move things up there. I really don't want to move things up there. Currently, I just, just really, 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 really don't want to move things up there. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I kind of like that. It actually should be working out pretty well. When you get that triggering, you get this triggering. Mm. Should work well enough. No, not really, Sonny. Oh, you got you get runes on that. I don't actually know what any of the runes do. Oh, he's out. He's so out of stamina. Okay, so right now in this match, our Sun Shield essentially made him stamina broken. This was this was not a good round, right? Like it, it, it's okay what we're pulling off here. So this is kind of like the standard board. I feel like my my burning sword burning torch combo is performing well enough, but we're we're not having the continuous defense to survive or the continuous damage to survive often, especially when we face the double axe build. I mean, if they have the perfect double axe build, they're obviously like made to destroy our defense. We still need the last push to master now. See, we're, we're kind of okay. This one goes away. We're buying the heal, we're buying this, we're buying the pen. They're both for free. Then we refresh. Uh, we make a torch, which makes me sell the pen again. I would have to consider if we want to start, like, should we, should we try to make a, a broom, Chan? So instead of a sword or trying to aim for the sword, we would be aiming for the broom. But then actually it makes no sense to make a torch. You should aim then for the sword and the broom. The furthest you've come so far, uh, we, we have like, this, this is the furthest we have come so far. This is the furthest. The stone. Okay, we're not gonna buy the whetstone right now. We're gonna keep the broom as the the scaling thingy, right? Gain two damage for the next attack when the opponent misses an attack. Now we got, we got, we got. Just not sure if we can reliably pull this off. We need the banana. Need a shield just to make myself safer. Wait, to make myself safer again. All about see, like he has two weapons, and now without the shield, we wouldn't stamina. Like he's probably gonna run into the stamina holdup. <laughs> that is our broom already. Problem is, we can make the broom, right? But it doesn't do anything for us. Now we need the chili. We're going to leave the card out for now. Actually, we're going to sell this. We're going to get that. So we're going to make the magic broom. The problem is making the magic broom is like is, is early is good, but you don't have any mana, right? So we're not making any, we're not creating any mana to actually profit from the broom. We almost won this despite the poison. That's interesting. Oh, that is the, that's, that's crazy. It's actually illegal. Because right now, what we're getting, ladies and gentlemen, is the Draconic Broom straight away. That's a bit uncool for our opponents. That is essentially the broom you're looking for. Okay, the super, the broom broom, the vroom broom. That thing has like a crazy scaling going on in the long run. So what we're making is this beautiful item chat. Listen here. Use two mana and two heat to gain five damage. Sounds pretty crazy. Is reasonable good. If you can get it to work, that is. And here is where the problem begins, right? How are we going to get this to work?
how are we going to get this to work? Because you are not having any mana early right now. I mean, that being said, it does five to seven damage. So it is, it is regardless of that, like a, a strong weapon to hit your opponents with. Yet we're losing essentially because we're not having any mana. Now there's an orb, so that's good. Okay, we need we need somewhere to put the orb to make use of the orb. That's another chili. And that's the orb. Uh that's okay, 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 chat. Good. So now, now we got some mana. Now, now th shit is hitting the fan. Okay. Because you essentially have this beautiful weapon here. As soon as we get two mana, we use that up. And now it's a 12 attack weapon. And we had two mana as a 22 attack weapon. Okay. It's a 27 attack weapon. It's a 32 attack weapon. Right? Right? Then we are still taking the Cryomancer. Because I feel like we, we still want to play the whole Cryomancer shtick. Uh, should probably get rid of the Wooden Buckler because we simply just can't do it. I'm gonna add this here. Gonna move all of you nerds over. Gonna put that still there. Gonna add you here. Okay, we want this one there to touch the Goobird. We want this one to be like this, there, and then this, uh, this probably, right? And the Buckler can be here to activate this, and that is here. Put a flame, put that there, put another flame. I mean, this is definitely from a damage standpoint higher than anything we've ever done. Simply because that's that's how it works, right? Okay, we get we get the mana prediction now really on point. And that's 12, 17, 22. We're out of stamina though. So so out of stamina is kind of like useless because if I'm out of stamina and I have like this very high attacking weapon, what does out of stamina use me? So there's the thought of what if I just keep the stuff here currently, Chan? So what if, what if, by the way, this is on the wrong sign. What if we just keep the stuff to never run out of stamina? Uh, that's our frostbite. That's the most beautiful sword in existence. Now we need to sell the torch to get frostbite out, to get the Volpertinger too. Okay, so things just got a little bit complicated in terms of how do I get everything here into one board? We need to move this out here, right? So, so we need to move this like one further. So I can put more flames back in here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You know what, it would be better if you don't actually touch that one at all. You just stay like for yourself up there. Right, so if this, if this just stays out of the equation, essentially. Mm. From the corner.
That's the best I have, ladies and gentlemen. So he, he does more damage per frost, right? But that thing does more damage like faster. So he definitely grows faster in terms of damage, right? Because if you're looking at it, this is already at 12, right? Where well, this is at nine damage. Then this is at 17. Well, this is at 10. Then this is at 22. We actually lost that one. That's uncool. I'm pretty sure we should have never lost this if I actually had my wooden buckler out. Okay, why am I getting the Wolpertinger? There we are, Chad. Wolpertinger super triggers. I'm still not sure about the Staff of Fire. Maybe I, should, maybe I should equip the Staff of Fire with a blue gem as well. We get, we get enough mana, so that that's that's for sure. We finally have our armor. Yay. Uh two. Three. So we need we need one piece of armor because as soon as we start like shutting our armor, we start losing every single time, right? That seems to be like the, the rule of thumb here right now. As soon as we get rid of any kind of armor piece, we're we're like on the on the losing end. I mean, he, he does have just like a very good upgraded board. There's no question about that. Now we have you. Maximum maximum start here. need another one of those but that ain't happening that's another for for something something hmm okay we we're gonna get blinded but this time we have the armor which removes two debuffs right when we have 13 blind already on us 19 blind that's horrible we didn't have the armor and didn't have the chili pepper we'd be completely lost i mean right now see we can remove all the blind actually so that's good but we're still getting like so hardcore blind to jesus i mean like that, that's the problem when we when, when our thing like does 59 damage per hit right not only 59 damage per hit it's 59 damage with a super crit but he stole all our buffs he stole all our buffs ladies and gentlemen damn son yeah, he out, we get outplayed. Uh, lightsaber, lightsaber, super outplayed, ladies and gentlemen. That was that was very frustrating to witness, especially as our first try to make the staff work, and then, like we didn't make the staff work. Unlucky. Okay, I'll be quickly right back, John. Give me a short second. I'm uh, going upstairs, and then we continue playing. Okay. Was the stuff too expensive or what was the problem, Chan? Fire. Stone. Leave the spear beam. 
All right, let's go for the... For the stuff again. Banana. Broom him! Broom him! Wait, the broom does six to eight damage. That's kind of nice. In the beginning. See, I'd like to buy the lump of coal, right? To make to make the burning coal. But honestly, I think we're not gonna make a torch this match. Let's, let's, let's not make a torch. Okay, I really did not want to do that. <laughs> I really, re really, really, like on the scale from one to, I absolutely did not want to do that. It's a 10. Now try a healing build this time. Uh, we have a significant amount of healing in case you're missing it. Every single time we do have, we do have tons of healing. Might just not work out the way we want to, but we do have tons of healing. Buy that too, buy that too, buy everything that costs one. And then sell everything that costs one again when you don't need it. Your sword. I uh, could buy ourselves a lump of coal if I wanted to to make another burning coal. Good. Is there, like two burning coals is good at the beginning. There might only be a twelve percent chance to make extra heat, but. Extra heat is extra heat. We lost against the buckler. I feel sad. Good. So, refresh. By that, we're getting way too many discounts by this and that. And refresh again. And sell this and that. <laughs> I mean, again, this this doesn't cost you anything, right? This is like no no loss for me in any capacity because we're making plus minus zero. Okay, now we're gonna have the burning sword and the oh god, you're doing a lot of damage from the beginning on. Jesus Christ, that was mean. Okay, get the hero sword, making a burning hero sword. Putting this up here. Getting a magic stuff. Because why not? Right now we're playing. What about the frozen armor? For the frozen armor, you need the standard armor. And I'll, I'll show you in a second. So you, need, you need the standard leather armor. And you need a scroll. So everything is made by... by oh, oh re really? We lost against 10 blind? <gasps> oh my goodness. So this armor, leather armor, and then you do need a normal. Spell scroll, frostbolt. They're rare. That's the problem. That loss was painful. I have no other words for it, Chan. That one was pain. O only pains dot GG. Okay, we get this one for the Goobird. We have the magic stuff, but we don't have magic. Bring us back to the standard problem of, sure, we can pull off the magic stuff early, but what's the magic stuff uses when it's, like, not getting magic stuff here? I mean, there, there's a blueberry. That's good. Chili Gubert. Man saying. Ta-da. I kind of want to get the armor, but don't see how I'm going to get the armor. 
Okay, so we're making one mana every X, and I need three mana to do bonus damage. Yeah, that's still taking its time. I don't feel like this is a desirable path to go down right now. Hmm. Refresh. Hmm. But well, that is perfect. That's what I need. And that's what I need times two. And that's what I need times three. Okay, so we're gonna have to get the stuff on a 4x4. Then we're gonna have to get the Goobert in front of it. Correct? And have this thingy pointing down. I'm gonna have that thing pointing on it. Then on the other side of the Goobert, we will need to get the fastest triggering items, which is a blueberry, held up by a garlic. That gets this behind it and here. Then we can do the fire sword there right now, and we can put, currently put the next blueberry over here. Actually, that's not true. I could put the next blueberry in the middle. That would also be nice. Good. Now the sword is empowering the staff. The blueberries are empowering the staff. The staff is going to turn into the dragon fire staff. And then we have the dragon fire staff that creates a lot. Now we're already providing a lot of frost. Well, it means a lot of frost is actually not that much because we only have like a couple of heat, right? Now we win this. Well deserved. Because we get healed by Goobert. So this one was actually just won by healing. Good. Now we have the staff of fire. Dragon fire super staff. We trigger this even faster. We should probably buy the whetstone to make the super burning fire sword. But I always feel like when I try to do this, I never end up getting the super dragon burning fire sword. Which essentially just gives us more heat. Right, right? It, it turns from a guaranteed to, to an even more guaranteed. Need to first buy this because that's more heat. More heat is more oomph. I would probably need to buy that one as well for the time being. Unlock this. So we get we get the stamina production now nailed down because this is like stamina cost 0.6. The 0.7 stamina cost was quite expensive. Ah, we won. Even though he did all the damage, our one did more damage. 38. I mean, in total in this match. We have done 195 damage by, by stuff going crazy. We would have not won this in the old version of the build, right? The old version of what we're trying to do. Mm, certainly not have worked out. Now, it would be cool to get like... I mean, it would be somewhat cool if I could play two Goobirds, but I just don't see that happening. Right? Right now, do not see multiple goobies from happening right now. Another piggy. Stamina backpack, I want that. I mean, our weapons are attacking fast enough, so they're attacking every 1.48 seconds, right? And the more heat we get, the faster they attack. The only problem right now is that we're actually using up heat, so, so that's like one of the things here. Okay, that's 67, 66. Yeah, we're, we're doing like very high crits with this. It is working. That's our armor. It would probably be wise to simply sell the piggy and a flame to get the armor. So I at least have it out, right? So we're then able to, to use the armor already next turn.
Okay, what are we fighting against? We're fighting against a shield, but they can't stamina burn us. And yet, oh, 92 damage. I, that was super clutch. If I had the fire armor, I should have won this. Because we're already at like hyper damage and he doesn't have like the hyper damage to counter produces. I mean, finally we saw actually a frozen player. But like if we had the armor, we, we, we pull this off. Okay, now let's align this better. So Gubert comes down. This one comes here. Uh, we need the other four by four probably back here to have the sword going on. Sword is a must there. Then this goes. Mm -hmm. the banana but you need to go here you need to go there no Like this or or like this yeah actually that's nice yeah it's actually really nice okay a lot of frost created straight away uh i could do this so I can put him here and that allows me to put more fire inside this thing in the long run. Mm-hmm. If I get the three flames, that would be good. You back here. And we should probably get a cap, right? I said it. We need a cap to prevent some some crits from being critical. But I'm, I keep I keep saying it, then I keep not buying it. So th this is this helps me from some things not being critical. So if we fight someone who's going maximum out on crits, and happening, okay, our weapon is 23. He has 14 frost. He's just getting beaten. 80 damage. Boom. Okay, we've we've arrived like at a, a very nice equilibrium of what this build does. Uh, I don't think we're actually gonna go back to the corrupted crystals. Like the crystals did their job. But I don't think they, they performed as well as I wanted them to or needed them to. We have enough rounds left for Piggy to be useful. I mean, it's plenty late into the game, but yet we have enough rounds. Played the Frost Pirate first try and just lost two games. Thanks for the advices. The staff stronger than the torch. Uh, well, so look at the staff. It gets five of damage for every mana we use. But you have to understand what you also need to use for this. I mean, right now it's just 35. And the amount of crits this does is just insane, right? The torch slowly gra goes up, but look at him. He has 10 frost, correct? 10 frost is a 20% crit chance and a 20% higher crit damage. All in all, the staff in this match did 300 damage, right? 300. So the torch would at this point be around 20 damage, where this is 53 damage. But we do need a, a huge support mechanism to kind of get this off the ground, right? You're not just simply getting it off the ground easy. And I think that's where where you could like argue about viability. Well, that's, a, that's a mana orb could be nice. Uh, that's where you could or argue about viability because of just the mere cost of getting it to work <laughs> is, is quite something to rot on. Okay, let's see against him. So we're, we're instantly kill him. Against him, it's very important because right now we need to kill him like three times, right? We need our one to do uber damage. I think what we, we need here is the one to carry a red crystal. If the one to carry a red crystal, that would be insane. That one is using heat to inflict frost and gain us armor. That makes us insane. Uh, that is the Volpertinger as well. Mm, nah.
it's okay. I'm a bit sad about having the Vulpertinger here, but I can't really turn things around right now. Mm. My top's what we could do is we could try to align it over here. I don't think that would help as much as well, right? And ends up in the same issue as before. So like like either either we have a problem there or we have a problem there. It's kind of like the same, right? Now we have the two armors. The two armors are huge because this gives us bonus armor and inflicts more frost. And that's actually the more interesting part where this actually inflicts more frost. Because with the more frost inflicted, I do more damage. But he's like doing super damage with like the attack speed he puts down. So we get poison daggered with 38 poison. Wow. Oh, it's, it's nasty. Especially the knuckles, like 30% chance to stun, right? So he's essentially just stunning us with the knuckles and then he's just tearing us into pieces. Ow. Ow. Well, we, we died to poison in this match. Sad. Like we have nine wins and that's minus rating. And that's what I meant about being all the way up here, chat, mm -hmm. right? That despite having all the rating going on, I despite despite like having nine wins, nine, nine wins is not enough. Okay, the, we tried the broom now two times and the broom let us down two times. So we're going back to the porch here sword gameplay. Wait, actually just lock the banana. Don't lock the piggy. Actually, actually we should have bought the piggy. <laughs> we win. Should have locked the Peggy Toe. Most likely. You know what? That's better than having one more heed. The Ice Dragon is pretty sick. Yeah, the problem is that you can't just guarantee the Ice Dragon. So it, it's like a little bit. How, how do you make sure to get this, right? How do you make sure to get that? We have tried now multiple times to incorporate the customer card and the customer card ain't bad. So the customer card does work, but yeah, uh, not reliable enough. So sure, we can get the customer card to do what we need the customer card to do, but we always end up with still may maybe or maybe not. We're getting what we're looking for. I and mean, right now we do have the perfect start, right? We get the burning torch followed up by the by the burning sword so that that's like an absolute no-brainer banger still very bitter when you lose against three you lose against three it's a customer card I like to like really gamble it over taking the customer card, right? The two frost bolts, yeah, frost bolts are amazing, but at the other hand, they're not amazing because like they they do provide some frost, but it's like a temporary frost gain, right? I mean, frost bolts are bought to essentially make other items. That's why you buy frost bolts end of the day. You don't actually buy them to use the frost bolts. That's two, that's nice. Yeah, this item wants to be touched by the most things, right? You see, he's like the heat production, so you want the heat production. We could buy the Phoenix, but again, we decided against the Phoenix gameplay ever. I tr tried the Phoenix one time, it was enough. So right now you have the torch, just to compare the torch to the um to the to the fire stuff. So the torch gains like maybe bonus damage and then bonus damage when you gain heat, correct? So it's it's a it can get stronger. Where the stuff just guaranteed gets stronger. I want this, but before I get that, I want this because that is now as this this is like now the perfect food cord. The only thing that could be better is probably adding another chili pepper. Is that I could put a chili pepper there and I mean, this, this is like brilliant right now. But it's just a very lucky start that we can't guarantee to get. 
We get a Shield of Valor. We get a Heart Container. Don't want any of those, sadly. That is the Whetstone to make the upgraded sword. But we talked about it. That the resources invested to make the upgraded sword often just really, 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 really don't feel worth it. All right, you want the burning blade? And right now we're buffing, we're buffing our good old torch. But the torch is where the damage comes from. We we'll start with twelve heed. Ooh, he just gets, he gets whacked. All right, Mancer. And that's where your damage comes from now. So for every heat we inflict, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heat straight away, correct? And these can make bonus seed, but that is only two frost right now. Two frost is not a lot, correct? So we rely on getting something like frostbite. Problem is now that with frostbite, we have another stamina consumption, right? So with this 0 0.7 and this 0 0.5, we already have too much. So in order to use this frostbite, we will have to sell the torch. And then we can actually use frostbite. And this one now has a chance to inflict frost and gets stronger with frost, right? But it only gets marginally stronger with frost, especially... That would always get also get stronger with Vampiric, but we don't have any kind of Vampiric going on, right? And we're losing against being blinded. This is my this is my saddest way to lose. You could put this here, that here, and then you could put this here. Then that's three, that's three, and that's four. You put this here for four as well. And that frost sword is actually not supposed to touch into the realm of fire. Hmm? Right? Let me do this. And then do that. It's actually better. I need one more. Then we have the perfect. <laughs> That's mana, but we don't have any mana going on. Right? So technically, this board shouldn't lose anything, but that's a technically because practically we are also missing any kind of defense right now because we do have the cool crits, right? That's kind of nice. Our enemy has the cool crits as well, but we don't have any defense going on, mainly because we just didn't get any defense, but that's beyond the point, right? So we neither have a bugler nor, nor do we have anything. Strong board, but not strong enough in, in no capacity. Because we're loose against everything that has like even even a little bit of defense, right? They, they just whack through us because we end of the day need to still grow over time. Right, any kind of armor, please. Any kind of armor, please. The second. That is a sword that does. Oh, that that that's like that's like bonus bonus casting speed. That does nothing for us right now. That's another pepper that does nothing for us times two. Literally, well, we could we could get a customer card to get more rare things, but it doesn't help. So biggest biggest upset right now having having like cool things but not having any cool things to like you can't do shit with this if you do not have the support frame but you notice how like we're, we're trying correct chan I mean, it's not like we're not trying we are trying indeed we're just not succeeding but that's nice that's touching the godly items to reflect uh, we could get the shield next turn as well. I feel like it's probably too late for the shield. Is I mean, it's probably too late for the armor too. I mean, at least we're getting something, but we might not have enough to cleanse the debuffs. And we're... Oh, we did it! Safety chant! 
Might, might we pull this? Might we pull this off? Let me see. We can put him here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, only one one lost for this, right? We could put in the shield. Hmm. More coal. Has never hurt anyone. When I could make them hit faster. Minimal improvement. I could sell two flames to get the cap of resilience. So we would be a bit more resilience. Sean, good to see you there. Okay, let's see if this is enough. Oh no, our 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 worst enemy. The only thing we could hope for is outcrit him, but I don't think we actually will outcrit him because he has triple heal. This is literally our worst enemy, and it's so much easier to put together because you only need the Phoenix and the Lantern. It's like the thing. Getting getting this board is right now the absolute meta board in comparison to what Frost is, right? That's pain. I don't wanna I don't wanna get the meta board. I wanna make Frost reliably work. Oh that that's the broom? Okay, that would be broom tastic gameplay, Chan. Mr. Broom Tastic. Oh, Mr. Broomtastic with two piggies attached. And a banana into this st stone. Oh, we will lose against this wooden buckler banana combo. So we will definitely get our ass beaten there. Refresh. Get this. Do not play a third piggy because a third piggy might be a little bit greedy. Right? I mean, two piggies is already plenty greedy. We're going to get used to when we're actually getting the broom and we're not having a banana early to probably just throw the like to throw the sword out because you only want the broom to attack. Let's see, you want to be a broom main. Okay, we get the we get the draconic orb already. Ladies and gentlemen, everything the build technically needs to simply function has been achieved. Uh, let me get this first. Play that too. Ta-da! Okay. Fuck that. So we just need the mana thingy now. Problem is that this thing doesn't do anything for, for the board early, right? It just essentially provides us with less thorns on the opponent. Which is which is actually cool. Like, not gonna lie. Not bad. I mean less less thorns on the opponent, more oom for us. Um Third piggy's not happening. <laughs> I set in. More stamina. Wait, with more stamina, I can actually do this. Ta da! It's a bit better. Yeah. Uh, we could make a. Burning coal. Mm hmm. Start playing this last night is a fun game. It is a very fun game, but there's so much to learn, especially when you when you want to bring consistency in. I mean, this is like with any of these auto battlers that that have an amount of RNG. How do you how do you get consistency in what you're doing? How do you make things work out more regular and not like have it be random, right? 
and that's where that's where the real skill always is put down right when you when you reach the points where you're like yep i can do this in nine out of ten games let's actually get the flute i think i i underestimate the flute often the good thing about the flute is that it does both things twice aka it does um like like it gets, gets stamina luck or armor so in this case the flute gives us maybe a chance to hit our opponent right maybe maybe to survive and and maybe to not get lost by by sand kind of kind of like does a little bit of everything and that's that's nice Especially with the pyro, it's just so easy to trigger it. That's done. Okay. Every, everything has two, two, three, 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 two, two, two. So the, the, the fruits are happy. I don't get piggy bangs. Piggy bangs is plus eight HP, but they give you one bonus gold on shop entered. So a piggy bang costs three gold, but gives you every shop one gold. So after three rounds, a piggy bank starts earning you gold and you continuously get bonus gold from piggy banks. That's the whole secret of piggy banks, making you filthy rich. Quite simple, quite nice. That one costs only one. That's the armor we want. That's the second Draconic Orb we want. Problem is that the Draconic Orb doesn't do anything for us right now. Seem to have bad luck with backs. I mean, it's all about making the best use of your backs, right? You can, you can already work with quite few. Uh, it's also like prioritizing which items are actually helpful and which items you... Oh, Jesus, he survived with two. Which items you really don't need. Which can be a harsh choice often. Maximum advantage of this. Mm -mm -mm. Now we shouldn't lose the next round, but you never know because this is quite quite the sad endeavor right now that we have going on here. Like we wanted to turn this broom into like the magical broom, right? To use the broom magic, but we're right now not using the broom magic, which is really bad because now we're lacking the damage to in any way hurt anyone and we're just literally losing against things. I mean, the good thing is that we will at least get the sun armor right now. So that's that's amazing. All right, this is going to save our butthole quite nicely to a degree. Uh, we could put the Book of Ice in to at least start using the mana. As we could put it, this in to produce more flames. We will have to sell the piggy because I just don't see how we're going to get the piggy back in. Well, are we still having the broom over the sword go on? Because the sword is buffing the broom nicely, right? So it's better to still have the broom be our source of crit. We're not going to lose against you, are we? And you get way more heat than us, that's true. But we get way more heal than you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he was getting constantly frozen as well. That's another freezing book. I mean, as much as I want the Draconic Orb, as much as I want the Mana Orb, I think we need to buy. I mean, the, the book of ice. I mean, we, the problem is. So if I if I actually do make the broom right now, we're gonna. I need to play the sword over the broom. I literally can't play the broom right now. It would just not work. A 
Piggy bank needs to go. I'm going to have to sell one blueberry. Because the orb is just going to be better. Since the orb can like produce four mana on one activation straight away, right? There you go. Whereas the orb, uh, like, like, whereas the blueberry can only produce one mana every 2.57 seconds, right? So, so this one net total, like, most likely produces just more. Come on, sword. Hungry blade. Do it. Thank you. So we're, we're getting there. Slow and steady. I can put this here to have these two trigger faster. It's a bit of a waste, but it works. Uh, you know what it means that PUBG is getting a new engine? Well, the Unreal 5 engine is better, more responsive and everything. So PUBG is rumored to go into the Unreal 5 engine. And when I say rumored to is, there is like... It, it might be just set to essentially like get investors to spend more money on the Crafton Union. Um, but yeah, it potentially looks like that PUBG is getting wholesale better. Because if it goes into a new engine, like the game will essentially run smoother, faster, stronger, donger. You know? Essentially getting a better and smoother running game. That's what it means. See, frost books that cast faster, Chad. Okay, now frost books that cast faster and a corrupted crystal that on frost infliction gives us uh, armor. Now with this, we should be getting... At 2730. <laughs> you do not stand to me. You do not stand me. We're, we're, just, we're just absolutely freezing you. This is great. The problem is only that our Hungry Blade is shit right now, okay? So we need something better than the Hungry Blade. It's our main main issues. -a. I, mean, I could still go for the broom and turn it into a magic tool, but that wouldn't work right now. It's the bummer. Another one. Have you tried any other of the new classes I have? But I'm currently, like, again, trying to make the Frost Mansa work as good as possible. And it's quite hard to make the Frost Necro work. Uh, the, the Frost Pyro, Pyro, Py Pyro, Cryo Mancer. I mean, we, we have the Frost part nailed down when you finally get this. We have the empty debuffing also nailed down. So he's actually not inflicting any debuffs on us. And he's just getting so much slower. So, so he literally has, like, no chance. But the combination of these two things just really no-brainer work out well. I mean, we could put in another holy armor right now. And that seems to be what I should pro- Oh, god, shit. That seems to be what I should probably do. But not sure if that's what I want to do. I mean, I can buy this for free. That's another mana orb. So with another mana orb, I can actually make it into mana thirst. Make a corrupted armor. Because that would provide me with, like, so two two of these armors would provide me with 50 healing per second. Or every two seconds I would get 50 healing. If I survive. I mean, right now I'm just getting literally beaten up by this axe. Fuck. Essentially lost against a perfect sapphire. Yikes. I mean, so close to, so close to perfection. 
All right, power takes some hits on the balance patch today. I think power is still very good, but like, you know, the, the frost, the frost is an issue for sure. And we're getting better at reliable, making it work, but much, much to go down there. Power destroys the Reaper most of the time, yes. The problem is that the way how you often play the Pyro is damage over time, so not like super instant burst damage, and that can lead to its own slew of issues. Banana. Might have actually bought the spear and played the spear for the time being. Uh, we do want the customer card. Frozen Flame get a buff on a chance to find items. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> no, I simply choose to not believe that because it's still, it's still almost impossible to find frost items. Despite, like, I've, I've tried Platinum Customer Card now so many times, right? Uh, like, it's 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 just borderline impossible. Mm. I do want the blueberry, but I don't think I can afford it. Want the piggy? So we could sell these for two gold right now. For the main reason that you will get a piggy. And that piggy uh, gives you plus one gold already. So you're losing nothing for gaining something. If that makes sense. Not sure if my buckler will be able to win this for us. Yeah, probably not. Mm. Chili Gubert. I'm what I dream of at night, but Chili Gubert is Chili Gubert. Oh, you get sand and hungry blade. That's that's quite annoying, but it's also like gonna it should burn your mana like crazy. You shouldn't actually be able to kill me in any capacity. Unless very unfortunate things happen and I just like really almost died to poison. Okay, maximum gain. That's the second customer card. Which again is like plenty useless in the beginning because a platinum card doesn't do much for you. You're, you might be getting better items, but if you have no space to put out these better items, right? If you have no if you have no place, if you have no money, if you have no funds, if you have no support, what do these better items use you, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, shield? Could you trigger? I mean, shield? Hello? No? Not today, Satan? That's nice. That's nice times two. I mean, we we have none upgraded yet. That's that's plenty unlucky. I feel like I should sell two flames to get this, and I hate it because that's another two flames sold. I mean, again, flames are yeah. He's he's playing it right. That's all the piggies you could imagine, Chad. And yes, we're actually going to lose against his stupid burning coal flame, flaming sword. Okay, because he get, just gains the heat already while we don't. This is plenty, plenty unfortunate. In many, many ways. We do get the mana orb for three, which is crazy because we want a mana orb. Right now, it wouldn't do anything for us because we could tops have like the mono orb cuddle right now with nothing. I mean, like, right? It's just not even worth the thought. Uh, Gingerbread Jerry doesn't work. We don't have anything to make him work. Do you ever miss auto chess? Always. Auto chess was just pure brilliance. 
the game that get it all over the grounds. I mean, it, it's not like auto chess is gone though, right? It's not like auto chess doesn't exist anymore. It's just that. Hmm. It ain't doing much, right? TFT killed it? No. Uh, Auto Chess, like, on Dota was fantastic. The problem is the developers went to mobile and not to PC. I mean, that's not a problem. The developers did everything correct. Uh, the biggest problem was that Valve made Dota on the Lords and gave it its own client. So if Valve was smarter, Valve would still be in business, in the auto battler business, but Valve essentially killed itself. We're dead. We're just losing against Poison. It's just a Poison Goobert and we're gone. That is, that is the most frustrating start in existence. So TFT did very good, and TFT was was strong coming out of the window, right? Uh, Underlords was very good. The problem is when you make a game, okay, and you're essentially put that game into a client that no one wants to use. I mean, like team fight tactics is in the League of Legends client, right? You don't have to install anything extra. You can just play it in there. Whereas, in order to play Dota Underlords, you needed to go into a complete new client. You needed to download a complete new thing, right? So, so Valve just like took a stick and shoved us up, shoved it up its own butt, and was like, "Yeah, this is this is great. I'm I'm really enjoying this." And they did that because I don't know. They they like they like sticks in the butt. I guess. It's a dumb excuse. No, for us, well, it's quite a reality. I mean, for people in the League of Legends category to discover TFT, they literally just need to have the TFT client installed. For for Dota players to discover Dota Underlords, they need to install themselves a complete new game. It's quite quite, quite simple, actually. No one wants to install new games, especially not Dota players. I mean, they're Dota players for a reason. They're Dota players. Oh, uh, we can just buy this for one. It's actually fine. Can you still play auto chess and Dota? You can, but it's not getting updated anymore And hackers. And hackers. <laughs> So there was actually cheats for Dota on the Lords and, and for Dota Auto Chess in like when it was a map. It was it was like really funny. Uh, pe people could like just just twiddle the twiddle the odds right and just make themselves like like get things like four hundred times over. It was it was quite crazy. I could make a burning whip. But we're still doing the Cryomancer play style, so Burning Whip makes no sense. That makes sense. Doing the Cryomancer play style. Hmm. I'm gonna actually sell you. We just get that for now. Yeah, burning coal right there. Work. Blizzard also could have some mistakes and made Hearthstone, Hearthstone BG standalone. Yes, Blizzard did the right thing, for example, too. Blizzard put Hearthstone Battlegrounds into the Hearthstone client. I mean, unarguably or arguably, Hearthstone Battlegrounds is not really the best auto battler of the auto battlers that exist. It's a very fun auto battler though. And uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds is again available in the Hearthstone client. When you have to put in zero efforts to actually get the game, like you essentially just, just play Hearthstone and you already have the game. And that barrier of entry, like getting rid of that is so important. Yeah, that chili goobert won't trigger. 
but at least we'll we'll pull it off, right? We're most, most likely going to lose against this double sword combo there. And that's actually not true. My, my torch could beat him silly. Yep, that's funny. Okay, that's Chili Goobird. Like, no good way to trigger him. Maybe one of the better ways to trigger him, which is kind of sad. Just, just reasonably sad. We need a sword. That's what we're waiting for, chat, right now. Just a normal stinky poopy sword. Five more flames. Flip this. That's another chili. Chili would be great. Mm, that's the sword, though. So sword comes first. Mm, let me buy this. Lock the chili. Should probably lock the stone, too, to just, like, make a super sword. We're already at it. I don't want TFT to be kind of standalone. I don't want to download the whole lol when I just play TFT. I mean, on mobile, you can do it, right? But I get you, like, if you're only a TFT player, obviously, you only want to have TFT on PC. But I guess the only reason is really size, right? I mean, it's, it's not like you're losing anything for having the whole thing on your computer. Burning sword. Fantastico. Buy another one of those. I kind of should buy the crystal for four, but I just don't see it. Actually, we, we need to lock it. I, I need to get the crystal for four. Oh, uh, the game is harder to match on mobile. 100%, not even a little. Like, the, the problem with uh, TFT on mobile is that you can't do the fast plays that much. Okay, sir, you're healing a lot. What what is what is that healing? Holy! I mean, I'm happy we beat you finally, but Jesus, what was that? What was that healing? Marimansa. That's our armor, chat. We got it, chat. We got it. Rejoice! How do we pull this off now? Okay, armor. It's like always the worst part of the whole playthrough. As soon as we need to get the armor, shit, shit just gets hard. Okay, I cannot use my my shield thingy, I guess. You know what? Sell the shield thingy, sell the double fire, and get straight away that. Wah, 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 wah. Look for that, too. Okay, so now we have the chili goober going on. We don't have this cleansing debuffs yet. Actually, just cleansing poison, which is good, but we're not cleansing blind, which is bad. Because right now we're 10 blind and our accuracy is down to 20%. It's actually sad because we're just straight up losing to just being blind. I don't actually know if he can prevent crits, though. That's, that's an interesting thought. Can he actually prevent crits? Uh-huh. And we're going to sell one fire to buy one book of eyes. No, why did I do that? That made no sense. I just spend the one fire to buy one book of eyes, but that makes no sense. You know why? Because we don't have any mana. Damn. See, right now he has this build again with a lantern, and the lantern build is so easy to pull off. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, I just barely struggle here with, with the frosties and everything, and he already has the lantern build pulled off. Wayne, these two there, that here, this there, that here, this there, this there. Fantastic. 
Uh, get another flame. Thank you very much. Finally, get the mana thingy, but DB, but DB, mana, mana, but DB, DB. Mana, mana, mana. Sorry. At a moment. Mm, you know what? We're gonna do this, this, and that. Because right now, like the the way how I would have to organize this is just so bad that I'd rather like organize it the other way around. Do we need this too? Now this is only gonna trigger. So this is gonna trigger every every 2.3 seconds, right? And this is only gonna trigger every 2.24 seconds. So so we're barely getting the frost that we need. I mean, like it's okay though, right? Like we're we're getting a lot of heat. We're getting some frost now. My frost bolts are doing finally some damage. Actually, we did some damage there. Burning swords, frost bold. Did 21 damage, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. We're getting the mana stone. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of iffy. If I do this, I could at least get three to trigger, right? Oh, I wanted to well, lock the stone too. Actually, just lock the stone. What do you find your CTR in the first two hours of YouTube videos? Oh, Sonic, that can be everything. That can be 5, 10, 20, 15... Yeah, I mean, you just get whacked. Right now, we're having like a bunch of favorable setups. A bunch of favorable fights happening. Mm. Kind of want to put it different that the Draconic Orb is powering this, but I just don't see how I could do this right now. So we're probably not. That's a shield. I get that frozen shield out too. That's nice. Then we're then we're like safe, right? The, the frozen shield puts us essentially in the safe department. And right now we finally have the frostbolt scroll, who like the book of ice, who keeps casting book of ice, and he can go double. I mean, you notice how much frost they're getting, correct? It's kind of like relies on always getting the book of ice, but we are just not always getting the book of ice. That's the biggest issue that like if you get the book of ice fire if you don't get the book of ice not fire oh if i can get a second book of ice now then double that would be double spell scroll book of ice shebang that's really nice good Things are adding up quite nice right now. I mean, if you look at our mana, three mana straight away, four mana straight away, he uses up six mana. So we're having more mana than we can actually use. Like, look at that. We're almost at 10 mana and he's at 33 frost. <laughs> he's at 40 frost. Yes, 44 frost. Everything he has triggers so much slower. Like it's his bird. His bird was down to every four seconds, chat. Every four seconds. Isn't that, isn't that absolutely insane? I feel like it's better if I come out with the minimal amount of things so I don't have to like do more. Oh, that came us here so I can put the flame there. Da da da. It's like, you know, if I, if I have only three, three food and that would be enough, then that's great because then I have like more space for other things. I mean, right now, this is like giving me all the frost. Look at that. Look at that. He just, he's a 31 frost straight away. Boom. 37 frost. 30, not 40. Dude, you're just, I don't know how you made it up here with that setup. See, no, no, it's finally working. If I could get the Volper Tingering, that would be great. Uh, this one wants to actually touch the scrolls somehow. If I could have this touch the scroll, that would be fire. Or frost. Frost. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Had a moment there. A very, very special moment. Hmm. 
Oh, that's another. <laughs> I'm not taking that one back. Wait. That one needs to touch this from the side. Okay, chat, listen. Listen. We get three book book scroll three three squirrels of eyes that, that that each can trigger the frost bolt. Okay? And we're making enough mana to actually use all of them. Yeah, our our, our mana is just being drained straight away. I like that. Like 26, like 26, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, frost, frost, 36 frost. Let's go. 42 frost, 41 frost, 45 frost. You stand no chance. Oh shit. Okay, we need to... Hmm... Sorry, I had a moment there, chat. Uh, like this. No, actually, like... I mean, technically, it should touch this. That would be better. Hmm... That's another... I feel like whenever, whenever I play Frost, my problem is that it's just such a single-minded gameplay with not much nuance, right? It's just like, gotta, gotta get the absolute, oh god, actually, I don't want the triple blade. Actually, I don't want the triple blade. So there, there's like not much nuance to it to get this done. Because we're, we're just like doing one thing, just stacking frost, right? Everything he does is like 100% slower. It's funny. He can, he, can, he can barely cast anything. Chat, chat, he can barely cast. Oh my goodness, he lost. Because all his items are 150% slower every three seconds, every three seconds, every six seconds, every six seconds, every seven seconds. Well, the single-minded frost gameplay works out. No one, no one can stop Frosty the Snowman, Snowy the Frostman, Frosty the Snow Dude, Snowy the Snowman. Okay, the problem is right now we made the burning blade like this and now I can't put it in here anymore. It's a bit of an issue, like spacing wise. You know? That's another frostbolt. So like there's one dream I've had for Wild Chan. And that is if you do one frostbolt here and then you would do one spell scroll in the middle of two frostbolts, then, then that would work, right? Because they have a 10% chance to cast the spell curls for free, but they they like they would be double, thruple, triple, triple threat, triple double, like super, super duper whooper. Yeah, that's that's not cool, but it's what I have right now. <laughs> it's it's literally what I have right now. I just don't don't have have anything else. That's another frozen buckler. Okay, so they can each trigger them twice, right? And he can trigger them too. Now, what if we if we had two more spell scrolls and two more books? The the amount of shenanigan I could do there would be quite crazy. I don't know if I want another shield. I feel like another shield feels like overdoing it.
Oh, oh, freeze him harder. Freeze him harder. Because if he can't attack, then he dies. No. Okay, I need to survive one more round. And freeze him hard enough, chat. And that, that matchup is one of the hardest. Oh, frost armor. Aha! Yep. Here. Ta -da. Okay, let's see where this goes out now, Chad. We get we get even more frost application, and we get even more armor gain now. So we're we're now officially putting like like copious amounts of, of frost on him. Like everything he does triggers now uh, like 120% slower. Right? You might you might burn my stamina, but if your weapons only attack every four seconds, dude, he doesn't have it. Dude, 200% slower. <gasps> no way. Yeah, like like good good luck trying to do anything to me. Hmm. <sighs> Was that 118 crit? Yes. I mean, we do crit quite a lot because here that's 600 damage from the Burning Torch. So what happens is, again, for each Frost of your opponent, um, the item has 2% critical hit chance and 2% critical strike damage. So my my 28 damage Torch does billions of damage, essentially. Billions of damage. Uh, you miss items with a wonky shape? There is plenty of items with a wonky shape, sir. Like that? Flip it? Mm. I feel like I would be better served buying the banana and putting it out and then getting this, putting this here. There, I mean, the, like, the, the bows and the, what is it called again? Um, the bows and the whips. They have wonky shapes. But I do agree there could be a little bit more. I think, though, like, the, the wonkier the shapes, like, get, the the more, like, aggravating it gets to play. I know. Ryan? Okay, perfect start, ladies and gentlemen. Cro cross swords, axe, double axe, phoenix. I mean, phoenix is not really, phoenix is not really unwieldy. Yes, Phoenix has a certain shape, but but it's kind of like it's good for you. Oh damn! I hate losing against that. You can get the shield technically. We can get the potion for free right now. A little bit stupid to not. Ooh. Well, now do I keep the potion for free and sell the fire to get the whetstone, or? Yeah, I think I do that. Because, like, the potion can still be sold, but the potion is now reliable or responsible for me maybe winning a round, right? Because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna heal below 50 or 11. See, like, that, that's, that's like, wasn't re responsible for me winning, but it could have been. And okay, we're gonna make the burning sword too. I get another banana. And a bonus armor. Banana and armor. Mm, lock this and make another hole. And then buy this for free. I should probably buy the mana orb too because we need the mana orb in the long run, right? Like, like again, my problem here, I should buy the mana orb because it's discounted. But we know that we need the mana orb like in in a lot, long time, right? We don't, we don't need the mana orb now. We don't need the mono orb in five minutes. We'll need the mono orb like in, in 10 rounds plus. But if I don't buy it right now for a heavy discount, I'm, I'm essentially just going to hurt myself, right? It's going to be annoying because I didn't buy it. 
Sirius, thank you for the 18th centuries of Sabbath Dubber. Sirius, good to see you there, brother, from another mother. Hope you're doing well. Hope life finds you good. Oh, no, we're losing against him. Losing against Kubert. No, I hate it. Sirius, thank you for the 18 long months. Well, that is him. Which means I could put that here, this there. That goes out. He goes here. We get a Goobert, we move this up, we put both weapons in, we flick him to put him there, we keep that there, we sell the potion, we buy this for free and we buy that for the bonus. And then we actually flip this around, and that is dumb. We flip this around. Ta-da! A lot of extra steps to say screw you to our opponent what you're having a burning blade already this early that's illegal sir i mean seriously what is that no burning blades allowed this early I guess. Oh, dra dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon is actually perfect at that stage. Okay, good start. I'm not sure if there's like a stronger start to achieve because it's also about like Getting, getting the start like easy. Oh, that's cryo re reduced. Flip the switch. Okay, let's. It's another mono orb. We can make a mono thirst and then play the mono thirst, but I feel like that's a mistake, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we can have things hit faster, harder, better, stronger. Let's move everything down. So we can have the banana trigger. Harder. Here, like, we should probably buy the Shield of Valor right now, correct? So the Shield of Valor is, is a bit of a stinker because it doesn't do much for us. Um, but it will keep us healthy and alivier. I feel like it's one of these scenarios where it'd be stupid not to buy the Shield of Valor. Right? <laughs> I'm ill, so it could be better, Irius. I, I hope you do not have the man flu and it's just a common flu and nothing too serious. Uh, but get 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 better, my friend. Get well soon. And we get we get up and coming. Ooh, frostbite. Hmm. I do like frostbite over the torch a lot, but it costs eleven money. The cool thing about frostbite is it just inflicts frost on hitting, right? Yeah, if you take frostbite, the torch has to go. We can buy the shield, but then I can't play the shield. You know, I'll I'll buy the shield, play the shield, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially Yeah, no optimal combinations right now. That's fine. Because we need this one burning. I'm not, not, not going to make a moon shield. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we need to inflict teed for some frost. And then for hitting, we can make even more frost, right? Mine's now at 12 damage, 13 damage. Dude, he, he's... Oh, no. The heal. We lost it against our ground opponent. Oh, that's my children. Be right back.
Sweaty Grubert. I mean, uh, Chili Grubert is quite insane, right? And from a from a how good he actually is standpoint. That one was a shitty position for that. Now that I have the shield upgraded, I can put it wherever I want it. Aha! Okay, we get everything figured out, Chad. Everything figured out. Mm-hmm. Oh, can we win against the ginormous axe? What do you think? Like we we have we have a lot figured out, but we're still not at the point where good things are happening. Like we have some frost going on, right? We have the frostbite hitting hard. We have the sun shield de 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 defending. Oh wow, that's 63 crit. Damn. Okay, we need some mana production more. But right now, biggest problem that uh, Frost has, right? Chan, where is my shit? <laughs> my biggest biggest problem Frost has, again, where is my shit? Donde esta la biblioteca? Right? Where's my shit? Where's my frost stuff? And there's no Donda Estela Biblioteca, right? Yeah. I'm like, I mean, we're doing, we're forcing frost every single round. And today in a four hour stream, we have gotten the dragon one single time. Make out of that what you want. I feel like crits can't be... Can't be miss. Oh, that's a double frostbite. Hmm. Now, the burning sword is interesting, but double frostbite seems to be a no-brainer, right? Because more frost is more frost. I mean, more fire is good too, but we're producing heat like that. That's the armor, finally. It was long enough. I mean, at least that gives like, like a lot of... But you can combine the moon orb with this. You can make moon armor. How does moon armor look? Gained for each magic item. Can reflect to cool. What does mana do? Nothing. Mana does do nothing unless you have mana items. Right now, I, I make mana, and when I have at least 10, I get luck instead. And luck gives a accuracy, and accuracy is good against uh, people that throw than in your eyes, because like that reduces accuracy by 10, and I get 10+, plus, so I don't actually die. Okay, sir, your triple heal was kind of ridiculous. That's a Frostbolt scroll. And as much as I wanted, I need this one first. Bam. Oh, I do need the Frostbolt scroll as well. But I just don't have it. What am I, What about what are mana items you see? I mean, for example, for Frost in this case, uh, I would need the Book of Ice that uses mana to inflict Frost. Uh, there is generally all the mana items. So you have this one that gains mana. Uh, the torch actually uses mana to give bonus damage to items around. This one uses mana as well. P uses mana too to create heat. This uses mana to get stronger. This uses mana to get stronger. This uses mana to inflict uh, dust. A dagger uses mana to directly deal damage. A sword gains mana on hit. 
Triple Phoenix is like playing with a work of Paladin. Triple Phoenix is just poor. Poor man's gameplay. Okay, we broke him instantly. But we're just not making any frost. Look at that. He has 11 frost, guys. Last time, we had over 100 frost at that point. Right? They're just resisting our debuffs. Not cool. Okay, that's the best I have right now. I could need another... Shit. Okay. I mean, this one is getting bonus casts now for every frost item it touches. This one gives me bonus armor. When these items give me give armor, then things happen, right? Oh, what what is that board? What are you doing damage with? Okay, you have one bow. I don't I don't understand how you get this far. See, like this is often where I'm like, how how in Good gods, almighty Urs, did you get this far with that board? Like, no, no offense at all. But how the hell? Hmm. I don't like it. I, I would have to reorganize everything to make this better. Okay, we have to we have to tear everything down. Bad. Let's first make him better. Get like the maximum benefit out of him. Same. So the shield needs to touch the frozen flame somehow. This can be self-contained all the way up here, right? No, it's actually perfect because this needs to touch the shield. And then ba bum and ba bum. That's actually really nice. That is play. That's killer. That's actually killer. guess doesn't get better than this chad when we we reorganize everything to the to the maximum outcome uh now now we are at least throwing frost at him like there's no tomorrow so we're getting 16 frost straight away and that's important because more frost more crits even though the frost from the frost bolts is only a temporary frost so that that's like a little bit of annoying because like you you do you do the frost from the frost bowls right but that that is like just just there for seconds x until it's not there anymore. I mean, it's enough to essentially provide us with some initial burst damage that we can actually win. So that's happy for me now. And for, for not getting any of the reasonable frost items again, apart from the two swords. I mean, don't get me wrong, the swords are nice, but there's so many more frost items that you kind of want. So many other frost items like the Book of Frost. Now, how would I get the Book of Frost in here, Chan? 
I have to say goodbye to this. Then get the Book of Frost in. The Book of Frost is finally now every one second, kind of, because that's to all the heat we're creating. Like you're making a lot of heat, right? So now, now we're talking. That's 33 frost on him, 37, 30, 43, 46, 40, 45, 51. Damn. Destroyed. What I'm completely forgetting is actually using my frost scrolls to create items right now. The problem is I have no space for that. Like I, I would really like to use my scrolls to make items, right? But how? <laughs> how? Because I, I don't, I don't see where I could do that. Really? Oh, that's another frost morn. Well, health at the end. I mean, we do have a lot of heal with the, with this. Uh, that, that's like 25 heal per. So like, look at that. 13, 17, 21, 21, 21, 26. I mean, and for him, like every second he casts less is better. Like he's almost at 50 frost now. And and like you see the crits we're doing, right? My swords are just doing reasonable crits because their damage is boosted by one damage for every frost the opponent has, right? Or it's 0.5 damage for every frost the opponent has. I'm going to put in a blood amulet because that actually boosts the damage of my dudes. Wait, I can do that. That. Oh, 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 that's actually plenty good. Uh, I can make bloody gloves. Like, why not, I guess? Okay, let's see. He has the minus healing heart. That's minus 40% healing. That can hurt, especially because the helmet is also minus 30% healing. But he does reduce our healing tremendously. That being said, look at the armor we're having. So he had to work himself through all my armor first. And that was quite significant. Problem is we're being stunned now, and that's a bummer because we don't seem to be able to do enough damage kind of to get through him. I'm wondering that why we're not doing enough damage. I guess we're just not attacking. Wow, he's cleansing all the frost. How are you cleansing all the frost? And heal for five. But how are you he cleansed every single frost? Oh, two debuffs. Yes, yes, yes. That one. Damn. Oh. My plus eight. I want to get mastered today. What do the scrolls do? The scrolls do a temporary frost enchantment, uh, but the scrolls can get triggered by my other items. So the scrolls are essentially not good, but the scrolls are needed to make more things. So with the scrolls, you can make... Uh, sell the stone and sell the heat. Uh, with the scrolls, you can make other items. So in your recipes right now, the ice armor is scroll. The frostbite is scroll. Yes. So scrolls are responsible to get you whatever you are actually looking for in the frost department. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you can make with the frost scroll. Yeah, I don't think you can make the frozen buckler with the scroll, but I haven't tried it out yet. <laughs> The, the problem is, like, you can make this with scrolls, right? But you can actually get, get these scrolls. Like, you can get these items straight away, too. So as much as you can make them with scrolls, you can also just get the items. Did I just make a burning coal instead of a torch? I really need to start paying a little bit of attention. And with a little bit, I mean, like, at all attention, I guess. <laughs> now, like, like... With a little attention, I mean, like, at all, any attention would be helpful, I guess. If we're losing this, I'd be highly unhappy. Because I feel like that, that amount of armor should have not been in. That's for one. That's for four. That's for more. That's for two, but we can't. That is for... Uh, yeah, that should give us a better chance at survival, I'd say. And we're going to make the hero sword and the burning sword. We're just not having a torch right now, so that's that's a bummer. And we could lose against this stupid 
stupid shovel because again minus accuracy we get one loss already in the books now for mistransforming an item unhappy wait let's let me turn this <laughs> it actually works perfect Okay, so, so they're facing the piggy. Uh... Oh, wait. I need... Oh, late. Oh, no. I'm down. Got it. Let's leave the banana there. I feel like we need to get off the double banana trip. We, we need to somehow try to get our stamina with not bananas. And I don't I don't know how. I, I feel like the, the double banana never never does us good. It always leads to too much space being taken in the beginning. Okay, that's our burning sword now. And just leads to sadness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, faster attack speed. Another one of those. Blueberry. Blueberry triggers my banana a bit faster. That's an armor sale for four. You could technically like sell the buckler. Uh, for two uh, to essentially sell one of the fires to just get the leather armor for four because that's just a huge amount of armor you're getting straight away it's, it's, it seems like a bit useless at times but have, have its have you never take send or what it's called i take send when it's discounted but otherwise it's not worth it i mean yes it reduces the accuracy of your opponent and that can help at times but it's such an unreliable item to to play early i mean if you have if you play a uh, sand Build where you actually utilize sand, be my guest. Otherwise, rather inefficient. Right? Mm hmm. That's my. That's better. You see, it's triple stacked. We can get this one. Okay, from this from the space standpoint, this is looking very good. I mean, yes, we might now we're not gonna lose against poison. We're gonna whack the shit out of him. And yeah, that poison is annoying, but we have enough damage. We have enough damage. We <laughs> please. Oh, that is a shield for six. I mean, that needs this to be sold, the goober to be pulled, the shield to be put out. This whole shebang up here needs to technically go somewhere else. We technically need to put this here and then put that here. And then technically take this to align this. And then be sad that we can't get the banana in. Probably start crying. Like, Aah! flip the switch. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sell two fires to get the banana. Lock that. Lock this. Lock that. <laughs> Listen, Sean. Left and right. Look at it lock. Done, done, done. Problem is, he has a weapon goobered, and that weapon goobered buffs the damage of all the weapons around right now. So his daggers are going like insane values, and we can't stamina wise keep up with this. I'm rather surprised at how fast this round has been going. Okay, we can keep this in the upper storage area right now. Okay, we can make a burning blade. Correct. We cannot buy this right now, sadly. There is Timothy. Yes, the, th the tiny thing is called Tim Chan. Absolutely stupid, Chan. How, how have we still not made a torch? Hmm. 
Purple Darius, good to see you there. How are you doing? Irius, by the way, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, apologies if I missed that before in chat. Don't forget to when your Prime gaming sub here, if you have it, if you want to bring it. That's a present, and a present can be nice. I don't think we're going to be playing the present, though, today or now. I need to reorganize things currently. Gray phase, no space. I would need this. Okay. Yeah, I don't see how I can otherwise pull this. Wait, you know what I could do? I could do this. Okay. Wait, no. What, what, what did I just do there from a positioning standpoint? <laughs> okay, frozen flame. We get some flame inflicted. We just need to combine the items. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. You have a double axe already with two sapphires and everything going on. Sir, that's that's just not okay. Like, how am I supposed to, to beat that ever? Not, not just now, like ever. That, that's a lot. It's good. Mm. That adds more armor to things. I kind of like to have a Volpertinger. Almost rather, where do we put Wolpertinger? And yes, we still we still only have a wooden sword, guys, because we essentially forgot to. Um, yeah, how do I say this now? We accidentally forgot to level that up properly. <laughs> how do I say that now? We're an idiot, chat. An idiot. An absolute stupid idiot. Like an idiot copter. Like an uh, idiot helicopter. Like chop, chop, chop. Idiot incoming. Yeah? That's how this happened. Are too low on stamina? That's why we got Volpi. Who needs to be actually on top of the Goobird? That's a bad position for the Volpertinger now. Sir, you're stealing my buffs. That's not okay, but we're freezing you, so that's double okay. So we need to move this down further. Preferable. So we can put the Volpertinger next to this. And when we get that, we get this. We can finally turn this into a torch. Hmm. So, what am I going to do with you? No, oh, this one needs to... This one needs to touch the armor. At the same time it needs to touch this. But at the same time it needs to touch that. Right, right now, the only issue is that I can't get the banana in anymore. And that's an actual real, real big issue. Because we're just relying on the Volpertinger to provide us with enough stamina production that this will work. It works. Almost. Oh, it worked. 
And yes, a second Volpertinger would actually be insane, but that ain't happening. Oh, nice work out. We didn't make a torch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> how, how is he not just making a torch, guys? How is, how is he just, like, missing that? How, how am I missing that? I, I don't feel very well, Mr. Starg. I don't feel very well. At all. I'm not sure how I missed that so many times now. If I if I do like this, okay. I could have that one at least. Give more, give more. That's a chili. That's good. I need the crystal too. And then. No more heat. I need more heat. And we need to get this area here better organized. I mean, the Wolpertinger is not doing us a favor right now. The Wolpertinger is making my life hard. Uh, he's getting he's getting the living shit beaten out of him. The problem is he has double Phoenix, so he gets one revive, another revive, and another revive. But he's for some reason not doing any damage. I'm wondering why we're not taking any damage from him. John. Like, he, he literally, like, he couldn't scratch us. At all. Like, it didn't seem to be affected at all. By this, to... For frosty buffs. Are you focusing on the frost thread every game? Yes, I'm focusing on the frost thread every game. We want to like min max the frost thread out, especially with like what the game give us off. So the biggest problem obviously is that with a frost thread, you're kind of relying on making frost that your frozen flame empowers the main weapon you choose for damage to actually do as much damage as possible. But for that to work, you need to apply frost. And at the same time, you do need to make sure that you're getting a maximum amount of heat and you're getting the mana and like, like that it all actually just does work together, right? And that can be quite complicated at times because it just doesn't always like want to work together, especially because frost bolts. Oh, frost bolts can make the frozen bucklers. Oh, that's cool. See, now I, I get my answer. Frost bolts can make frozen bucklers. That's cool, finally. That's nice because the frozen bucklers they they inflict frost on hit so when they get hit they do frost and that that's like allows me to just do the burst frost and that's very important because right now my scrolls they only work three times or four times right but this this burst frost they're applying allows me to essentially land super crits and that's why you need always enough stamina to land always like the crazy crits right we need 4x force Another frost spell? No, I don't need another frost spell. I can finally make a torch. Chat, finally. This is a torch now. Oh, uh, that's a four. It allows me to put another four in here. Make another frozen buckler, I guess. If I could, I would move everything one down, but I don't think I can I can really do that. Oh, that's a da 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 That would be so good if I could put the wool putinger up in there. That'd be so good. Like not not even a little good. They'd be like two hundred good. Oh, well, that's so weak. How did you make it this far? I mean, he literally just has like one, one double. I mean, the double axe is good. Don't get me wrong, correct? 
and and like the knuckles are good as well but he just doesn't have like anything crazy special going on i mean he might have the light goober to in inflict like sand on us but we have we cleansed that sand so that's not not in any way problematic if i put the four down here i can only have three here if i put the four down here can I put the four down there? Then I take the four to put it down here. Then we put the three and the three here. We can get one more there, right? And then we put the four here and the four here. And I can put the three there and the one there. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend. The chosen one. We did it. We did it, mom. Look at me. Okay, now let's enjoy the last fine. Okay, he has the Phoenix to replenish him. He has the Dark Lantern to Dark Lantern, and my healing is reduced by 60% Chan. That being said, we are having 12 Frost Summon inflicted right now, which is not a lot. He has no more stamina already because we're stamina broken him. Like, since we have three bucklers, right? When he hits us, there's a chance that he instantly loses uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and another 0.7. So he might just straight up be out of stamina and he cannot attack which in which which like makes it really bad for him i mean my problem is only that despite that is happening we are also ourselves not having enough stamina to continuously keep attacking you can make a frozen bunny no you can't Okay, we start again with the hero sword. I th like, question rather is if we have the torch the whole time, guys. Do you think we we might have won? Do you think we might have won some of the matches that we so unfortunately lost? I hate losing my first round. When I lose my first round, I just want to quit for for this round. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm the, the saltiest loser in, in existence. It's like, oh, we lost that round. It's over. Quit. Can we quit, please? Right? Can we not do this? I mean, good start with the piggy bang. I should, I should try to get more piggy bangs, I think, for Frost. I think I need to acknowledge that the ma massing of piggy bangs is beneficial for this build. So the more piggy bangs I get, the better it is. Yes, I do want the customer card. No, I cannot afford it. We need a second banana. I, we tried a single banana gameplay, and it has turned out that a single banana works, but it's kind of stupid because if we're having 50 heat and everything triggers 50% faster, then the bananas or two bananas also trigger 50% faster, right? I mean, su surprise, basic math, right? Thank you for winning that. I would have been really peeved for losing this. Okay, that's a burning torch, and that is a hero sword. Need to put both up front. Need to sell the stone, need to get the banana. Just told you about our friend, the piggy man. Put that in here, throw this away. Yeah, more picks, more more boom. I mean, end of the day, things are so expensive, right? I, I need so many items that cost a lot that it would be stupid to not aim in that direction. And we're losing this because he has the sword already. And we're one turn late on the sword. But we're not really one turn late. It's just what it is. Mm. Oh, another one. That's another piggy. I told you I'm going to buy all the piggies this match, which might still be greedy, but I think it's it's worth it.
I mean, not having a shield right now is, is a bummer. He's already making chip sapphires. And we, we get a lot of attack, but it's just not enough to, like, if you don't have any heal. Right? I mean, we're definitely, we're definitely risking a lot by buying more pigs than, than anything else. Flame. Hmm. Buy another flame. I see, like, I should get the wooden buckler in. But how? How would I get the wooden buckler in? And that's the heat potato. That is my hitting sword. Dude, you have a chili goobert already? That being said, even though him having the chili goobert, I have the burning sword and the burning torch. I'm just going to be like, I'm just going to be twacking that shit. That is a mana orb discounted. That's very bad because I really want a discounted mana orb. For later. I mean, again, it might be useless the whole game and we just wasted three gold on it. But end of the day, technically, the mana orb after you gain 30 mana gives you 12 random other buffs. Well, we'll just never get the amount of mana, right? Please, please win this for me. Thank you. We'll never get that amount of mana. Cryomancer. Uh, that's a shield. So, no, we should get the Goo Bird. And we need to roll. Then we get the faster casting. We're going to add the Goo Bird here to make Chili Goo Bird. And we're going to do this there. Now we're going to pull this one, one down. We need to align our piggies that they have the most star items between them, right? We're not going to play the the mana thingy right now because it's kind of useless. It's a frost bolt. It's kind of nice. I mean, some basic frost applications early on is cool. We just can't make use of the... Okay, two burning swords early plus the lantern. That's bullshit. Because the problem is, like, how much damage we're just taking, right? We take him over the threshold and we just die. Uh, that's nice. We can actually make uh, leather armor, Chad. Let's let's do that. Um, leather armor did only need heat, right? Yeah, I wasn't sure. It's the first time we're actually going to make leather armor early. Mm. I'm thinking about how to, how to best apply this. We'll buy that, that's for sure. Oh, that's another four. That's actually nasty. Probably need to sell a piggy. Mm-hmm. So we're making frost armor now. That is a very nice line of defense. You have a lot of armor. Holy balls, but we're just banging through that. Jeez, you just got twacked. You get the living hell twacked out of you. So what does Ice Armor do? It does four frost and then two frost every five seconds. And that means the more heat we have, the well, but yeah. The better it is. Let me put that here and that there. So we can put as much fire as possible in there. Uh, then we can put the banana over here. You get here, we put that back on the menu. We roll once, we roll twice. Hmm. Get the faster trigger, pull this back, have them hit a bit faster. Not sure if the hitting faster here is worth it because we're actually hitting fast enough. I think it would be better to, you know what? It would probably be better to
Do you have the boast bananas? Just trigger it as fast as possible or as much as possible. Another dragon thingy. What if I can get four dragons thingies around the Goobird? I'm going to be a very happy persona. And you just have one. Like, he has no healing chat. Look at this. Okay. So he has two revives. And, and like, like that's it. He has no, no auxiliary healing or anything. If that is enough to win the, the round, I'm going to be very frustrated. Like, just, just in terms of... Of how much weaker Frost is than that. Like he has no Goo Bird, right? He has nothing. He, he has nothing going on. And yet. And yet. He can wake so much better. That is fantastic. Look, mom, I made it. I created a monster. It is the ultimate, the ultimate goo bird. Because these things, they trigger every 1.98 seconds, right? And they get gradually faster for every trigger. Nothing triggers as fast, only, only the weapons, but the weapons are again bound to stamina. So if you don't have stamina anymore, they don't actually trigger. That means that with this, they, they're net total just triggering faster. Oh shit, now I would need the frostbite over the... I wasn't aiming to get frostbite there. Mm -hmm. Aim. I mean, two armor and that more is more, right? Rainbow Goobert is the ultimate Goobert. No, this is this is the ultimate, like, like I make Goobert worth thingy. If I could now get another, like, faster faster cast thingy, like, you, you can just... It, it's about space, right? So I can just park this Goobert off to the side, and that's it. I would never have to care for that Goobert again. And that, that makes it so desirable, right? Okay, making even more crits seems a bit crazy, chat. But suck in. Maximum crit over going home, right? Is it gentlemen? I mean, if the like so the first chat, the first 25 hits are crits. <laughs> the first the first 25 hits are crits, okay? So it's nice that you're trying to to weasel yourself out of this with your revival shenanigans, shamambo bambos, okay? But my first 25 hits are crits, so you you can you can try anything you want to weasel yourself out of this. But but I I I'm packing, okay, Chan? I'm packing. Finally, we get a Book of Mana use. Finally. And we're getting a... Attached to that bonus. Okay, we got this. Ladies and gentlemen, let the frostening begin. So we get the sword to inflict frost, right? We get this to inflict frost too and gain me armor. He does hit past my armor, which is very annoying. But that's actually like a real problem because you notice how he just now actively actually hits past my armor. And we can't do any shit about that. Now we're do trying to heal, but our healing is not really working out that much because he's hitting past our armor and we kind of get like there. Just, just as we had all the pieces of the puzzle together, ladies and gentlemen. We get punished like that. Is Diablo 4 worth buying? Absolutely. Beyond brilliant. Okay, our strategy worked somewhat out with buying as many piggies as possible, but I still feel like it could have gone better.
D4 is half on spring sale right now. Yeah, then that, that would be almost stupid to not buy in. I mean, even, even if you only play through the campaign one single time uh, and level up one character to the maximum level, like if that, if that would be anything you ever do in Diablo, even that is actually worth it. Wait, why am I an unranked? I made an unranked battle accidentally. Seed active game. Holy unranked. Davy, thank you for the 17 months of support. Davy, great to see there, brother, from another mother. We'll be doing well. The thing is about mm, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy the broom and we're gonna enhance the broom and we're still gonna buy this, but not play it, okay? Oh, I trusted you, Broom. I trusted you. And you let me down like that. I thought we're friends, Broom. Friends. Friends stand for each other. And you let me down. D4 is coming to Game Pass. Yes, and that's going to be great because when D4 comes to Game Pass, more people are going to be checking it out and that, that is worth it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of first-time players that ba basically don't know what to do. Okay, I'm like, I would have been very peeved if we didn't win that one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good start. Here's the double, double thruple, triple duple. Refresh with the faster... I mean, can't really get faster anything here. We could get faster hitting and that, right? I need the banana. I mean, having that 81 life, so double the amount of life that he has is really useful in the beginning. I mean, it, it won't help if the enemy just out heals you, right? It won't help, but having is having. Okay, we make the burning sword. We acquired the lump of coal. There's a goo bird that we can't do much with. Yeah. Bit bit of nuisance. Oh, I, w I wish I could get that piggy. When I mean, we said we're buying every single piggy chat, but sadly they're like, I can't get more. Maximum pigsiness I can get here. I'll lock the stone. I need the burning sword. Dude, you get two you get two burning swords already. Not okay. Not okay. Holy. Mm -hmm. Man, how are we struggling to get one and he has two? Explain, Chan. Explain. Mm -hmm. We have so much space here. I just want the bananas to be faster. Nice and banana. I kind of want the lump of coal there, but I'm not going to lock in. Uh, and now I wanted to move the pig there. No, I forget to move the pig. I'm going to lose now. Well, that's armor early. Hmm. And in order to get this armor early, I will need to sell one of the piggy bangs. It makes absolutely no sense trying to hog this if you can get this armor so early. Because that armor so early is is like it's just stupid. <laughs> frankly, frankly spoken, that armor early is just stupid. Because it heals for 25. 
And the only thing it uses is heat for that. Right? I mean, seriously, the, the armor heals for 25 and just uses heat. Do you know how easy it is to produce heat? I can get three or I can get five. Yeah, that, that's better. Actually, this might be even better. No, this is this is better. Okay, so we got we got we produce a lot. We produce a lot. That's that's illegal. I mean, nice triple goobert. I kind of like that, and it's kind of funny how you're lining this. But look look at how my heat is rising, right? While we're while we're just unstoppable. I mean, this one is like this one is like one of these stupid starts where we're just guaranteed to to win to a degree. Uh, we should buy the cap of resilience because it's for free. We should buy Goobird, and then we're gonna roll a 4x4 stack. I want to say Rob, but on the other hand, it would have been kind of OP if we actually got it. <laughs> I I I want to say robbed, but getting that would have also been kind of illegal. So. And my problem being right now that I couldn't use the cap of, uh, that I couldn't use my frozen flame. Is that okay? I mean, I essentially don't need the frozen flame for this turn. What the game called is backpack battles. Oh, we're going to lose against that double axe. That's not true. That's what we get the cap of resilience there for, to prevent some damage early on. Yeah, that, that cap of resilience might actually help us in the beginning to kind of not just get our ass handed to us. Okay, could we please stop getting things that we can't put onto the map? Because it's getting too full. Okay, well we can't we can't we can't do this right now. Okay, Wayne? Wayne? I, mean, I really want to use frozen flame, right? But I can't right now. We need to hold it back. It's just there's. So what is the cap doing? The cap is really good. So reduce damage taken by 25% for three seconds at the start of battle. Chance to prevent a hit from being critical, 15%, and chance to prevent from being stunned. The cap is not crazy, but the cap is exactly doing what it does, and that is just just helping. You know, it's helping. So you're not getting your booty handed to you. Hmm. Well, we can finally use the frozen flame, I guess. Just on the wrong item. That's the problem. There's another armor. Well, the cap is essentially there to just help you to take less damage in the beginning salvo because a lot of builds start like critting straight away. And just in general help you with damage over time that's a frost booklet that's nice lock that the problem is i need the frost booklet mm, and i need that wow and i need this wow <laughs> That's a problem because I cannot get all of these items. And even if I got all these items, I cannot use all of these items right now. I mean, look, look how fast he gets beaten right now. <laughs> over and over and over again because we're making so much heat and so much damage. We need this and we need that. And then we need something to put it in. Oh, that's a Volpertanger too. And that's a, we need that too. Just sell two heat to get this so we can have the book casting faster and we probably need to say goodbye to that thing for now so we at least have a triple trigger right we could also do like that's a quad trigger that's actually no no wait yeah it actually works right right because if any of the items around it activates it counts as an activation too 
So right now, this only gives us mana if any one of the things activates, right? But but then then the the mana I think counts as an activation for the goober too. Well, that is the perfect draconic orb. That is the mana. That is the draconic orb. I need another book of frost. I don't need another book of frost, but that's what I get. Ah, uh, we're gonna how are we gonna do this, Chad? Okay, wait, 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 wait. We need to, we need to take this all and we need to dump it for a second. Because I need that and this. That's Goobert. And Goobert is getting these two. So that, that's the, the minimal, minimal Goobert activation. Okay, we don't need more. And we take this and that. Because that gives us a chili, a blueberry, and a banana. Which is actually strong, but we could flick this around so the chili gets hit by more things. Right, so so this is just the activation of that. Mm. And we could have the armor essentially be attached to the sword and that. Correct? This is this is this is what could work too. No no hurt feelings about this. That that's all that's all working together. We need the frost flame. We need the frost flame to work with this, correct? We want the orb to be somewhat connected to something. We could put this here, that here, the orb. We can actually move the orb wherever we want it to, right? Hmm. Move that forward. Oh, no, uh, if I move that forward, I need to. Ah! Only one banana right now. The only caveat. Wait, it doesn't need to. No, 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 no. The only problem I have is that that's wasted. Wayne? Wayne? I can do that here and that here. Which reduces the activation here by one, but that's fine. And that can be here, so for the start of the game and a fire. Okay. Okay, John. Oh, that's crazy. He has a topaz in there. That's a lot of stamina regeneration bonus. That's a lot of scary. When we have 30 heat, everything triggers 30% faster. Everything triggers 40% faster. Our weapons are hitting very hard. We have a lot of stamina, but we don't have enough stamina. So right now, you notice how we could be hitting faster, but we could be hurting him more. But we're we're not having the, the stamina going on. So we're coming back to the age old problem of give me a little bit whittle whittle little bit more stamina. Then things would instantly look upwards. I need that for four for four. I can't say no to this. Okay, how much mana do we have, though? Let's look at the mana gain. That's one, two, two. It's making enough mana, but we're we're like stamina capped again. Like we're we're literally losing just to no stamina. But I can't also just whack more stamina out of my booty hole, right? I mean, this is kind of like the maximum amount of stamina I can I could have gotten this match so far, and we lost shit. Oh, this was such a nice round and we pulled so much off and we get like so much frost and everything going, but I feel like we're, we're done here. Okay, nice. Undeserved, I feel a little bit. Do we need three bananas? Is that it? 
Do I do I literally make need to make three bananas? That feels like it would be a little bit overkill. Of discomfort, yeah, we can make that. You should sell torch. Mm, no, but we could try. We could literally try this out as a one weapon, one weapon thingy. At times, but I still feel like with two weapons, it's better. A cap of discomfort. I think that might actually help with this build a lot. The four by four. Four by four is very powerful. Might just sell four flames. So you get a four by four. You can do that. That four by four is the frost four by four, which is really strong. A two moon shields. We get this, so you're not healing. Chance to nullify the buffs on the opponent. He's 50 frosted, so his axe actually hits only every 2.1 seconds. He's plenty weaker. And by the way, the torch does a lot of damage. Just feels like that we're, as you say, creating our own stamina shortage. Let's actually try. Let's try right away. Just put the torch out. As shitty as it feels to just really be a one weapon Andy. But I might literally do the trick. Another book of frost. I mean, it's last round, so I'll sell both things just to get the book of frost. Because more frost is better. Now let's see how how that works with one sword. So we have the one sword, right? Which does like ten damage, and then it just like buffs itself as soon as we gain enough heed. When we're definitely never gonna run out of stamina with that. Again, most of this time, it's like we could have dealt more damage if we just had more. Okay, we just got a lot of damage from him. He essentially, simply outcritted us with the. He actually didn't outcrit us. What happens is that we get minus 90% healing, right? Three caps of discomfort make it impossible for me to heal, so we just die. There is. You still have the doggo. Yes, we do still have the doggo. He's doing very fine. Life's life's good. You know, uh, he's getting older. He has a weird ear infection that we got to take him to the doctor for. Well, apart from that, you know, life life's moving in good ways. That's a chilly early, and oh god, that's actually that's the earliest I've ever gotten the hero sword. I've never gotten it earlier. Okay, let's try let's try hero hero sword only. So we sell the other wooden sword and we try like a one burning sword gameplay. Which still seems a bit weird to me to attempt that, but let's see. I mean, the problem is that the burning sword buffs like weapons around it. So it feels a little bit bad to do this. You know what? I should add one dragon. If I if I get the red dragon, I should add it to the to the game. Because the advantage of the red dragon is that the that the dragon doesn't um dragon doesn't take stamina
Yeah, right now the one weapon playstyle is costing us more than it's using us. Uh, no, we're not. I mean, we could buy the dagger for free for now, but not to transform it because we're not literally not planning to make daggers. Mm -hmm. And the moment where we choose to go for one weapon, right? That's the that's the first time where we're like, come on, we we'll just play one weapon. So that moment where we choose to do this, it, like everyone stops playing. Um, every, everyone, everyone and their mom stop playing bucklers right because usually that's it like every, everyone plays bucklers so when you play more weapons that can be a bit of a doozy now the moment where we're like hey, hey how about we just play one weapon it's like oh yeah you know about bucklers yeah we don't play them anymore bucklers overrated you get debated probably should sell one flame to buy the healing herb Old Aries, and it's it's still the most beautiful one. He has the double thingy. Doesn't run out of stamina, but he also doesn't have like the cool goober going on, so he has no chance. And that's the cap of resilience early. I'm not I'm not sure if that early is in any way something you should go for. But at the same time, it's like it costs four. Right? I mean, less damage is less damage, even if it's only in the beginning. And hell, hell, he can't stun us, so I, I guess that's good as well. I feel like I should have won that, and I'm sad we didn't. I'm very sad we didn't. That is uh, 3, 5, 13. Yeah, we need all of this. We're going to buy that to add... That to the fray here to add this and him and that. Perfection. That's good. It makes our actually, you know what? This should be probably like that because that that like this is the fastest triggering run of all of them, right? So so this one triggers every three point two point two point nine seconds. And we're not gonna lose against sand, are we? Against sand and poison. Oh god, no, we're not. We're, I'm not planning to lose against Send and Poison. And yes, chat, before you ask, should, should we should we put the should we put the dagger next to the burning sword? We should. We should. That's for three. Frozen flame. Another ch 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 chili. Mm -hmm. yeah, like this might be better. And we have more candidates to, to hog. Okay, so we're not going to be inflicting much fire. Because we only do like seven in the beginning. That's only two frost, so virtually useless. But again, my sword is just going places. I mean, like, again, like this is right now with the one dagger that's unaffiliated. It's actually working. I'm still not sure if I should make the dagger molten because, again, we do not want molten daggers. They use up our heat and we don't want our heat to be used up. Okay. All right, one molten dagger. 
One molten dagger that's using up some heat to empower itself. Should that be okay, maybe? But we're just getting beaten by his stupid axe. That's Frostmorn. Well, now give us again the bigger question, right? So now with, with the Frost Sword there, should we play Burning Sword plus Frost Sword or should we only play Burning Sword? Because now we're going to go into the same problem, right? We'll be, we'll be having like some stamina issues. If I, if I like do that, if I go for Burning Sword plus that, a balance patch is there, 0.91a. I and mean, then we can restart the game to check. So if I go for Frostbite, I'd have, I'd have to sell the Burning Sword. Because again, we're, we're just we're just doing exactly the same otherwise. Hmm. Let's see where this is going. I mean, now we can at least apply more frost. And we get more poison. That's fantastic because we have nothing to actually heal that poison. Come on. Stab it. Stab it. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know what the funny part about the game is? That you essentially know that what you're doing here right now, right? How, how, you're, how you're twacking someone that at the same time, like, like someone is going to be having to face you off, right? Because this, that's how the whole game actually works. That's how the whole asynchronous game works, right? That, that somewhere in the world, someone is right now fighting you, right? If I find that, I find that quite, quite, am quite amusing to think about. Somewhere, somewhere in the world, someone is fighting your clone. Okay, we're trying to make this a vampiric dagger because right now the vampiric actually empowers my frostbite too. Well, that's nice. Come on, frostbite. Slash silly. Fantastic. That is the fire armor. Hmm. How? My problem is not, yeah, sure, I should, but how? I didn't want to sell that. Why did I sell that? I re really, really didn't just want to sell the cap. That was an oopsie. Oh, no, the lantern, the lantern, no. Yeah, we're, 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 we're losing without fire armor there. We can burn him once, we can burn him twice. When we, like, our crits are, our crits are great, right? Yeah, at least we get the sun armor this round. Okay, we can, we can buy this. So we get more frost. Oh, and we can get that, that's fire. Or, or frost, uh-huh. Come on now. Don't be like that. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we could do more, right? And we can put, pull the book up there. More flames. Okay, that's, that's, that's the best we can do right now. We have the mana to actually trigger the Book of Ice. The Book of Ice is doing frost. My weapon is doing more damage when it gets frost. We're starting with 19 flame, right? That's good. He resisted a bunch of our debuffs because he's having... Yeah, he, the ba Battle Rage entered also cleanses random debuffs. How did you resist all the debuffs? No, I mean, seriously, how did you resist every debuff? I mean, that, that blocks... Like, literally, he's just resisting all the frost debuffs. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not getting any frost on him. Which item is resisting? 
I mean, cheese gains random buff. Chance to resist frost. No, he has four dragon skin boots to essentially resist all frost. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's unlucky. That's that's reasonably unlucky. No, right, I I could have I could have literally on a scale from one to ten not have faced a single more annoying opponent. See, that makes that makes the frost sword a really risky weapon to have. Oh, get a get set off about getting maxed on by cryomancers. Yeah, but cryomancers aren't even good. That's the point. Why why would you tech against cryomancers? They they suck. Like, do you know how hard it is to get this thing done? Okay, I need the patch. Chat, I need the patch. That, that patch is probably going to buff me, right? And there was a patch today here, 9.1. Is that the, the one? Draconic Orb crits, 5 to 4. Burning Sword cooldown. Burning Blade. Phoenix Heal per heed. Obsidian Dragon. Dragon's Nest. Dark Lantern. Here, it's like right now. No, no, no. Like the frozen, the frozen flame finds frost items more likely. I believe it when I see it, though. Okay, let's try. And we're still gonna go for the frost sword, so that that's like we're we're gonna go for the for the standard gameplay, right? Phoenix and Dragon's Nest get nerfed. Yeah, well, that's good. These are my greatest problems right now. Phoenix and Dragon's Nest, when we meet them, they they usually, like, they, they have a chance to burst us. The problem is, like, the, the power level that Phoenix essentially straight up provides is hard to contend with. So not, not that Phoenix is, like, too powerful per se. It's just Phoenix without anything. Super TL. Thank you for the 31s. Gorilla with a 55. And Zaichi with a 65 months. Max Sauce with a 56 as well, ladies and gentlemen. Happy you're enjoying the backpack battle so much. I mean, we're currently a little bit in the phase of playing some other games than the games we usually play. And the main reason for that is right now that we are really in the waiting room for a lot of games to come out, right? I mean, we're waiting for Dragon's Dogma. I, I don't know if you have heard about it. There's a bunch of very good YouTube videos about Dragon's Dogma that you should check out if you haven't done that yet. So yeah, Dragon's Dogma is going to be played. We're waiting for Rise of the Ronin. There's Alone in the Dark. There is the Diablo 4 patch test realm. I mean, in five days, we finally get more information. Per personally, can't wait for that. I mean, patch, patch test realm information is my, is my jam, my bread and butter, my cocaine. Oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna really gonna just yeah, I'm gonna make that chili goober out of the house. Un unquestionable. Just clap, whack that chat, whack down. I mean this is this is a really powerful start here. But oh, we're kinda like back to the to the double double weapon problematic. Right? But the double weapon problematic had a different problem that if we're not going for double weapons, we're having the not double weapon problematic. So, <laughs> so either we have the double weapon problematic or we have the not double weapon problematic. Right? I mean, one thing we can say is buckler. Buckler is a 100% buy, a 100% need, a, like a non-arguable, non-questionable. Like if you don't have the buckler, you're you're a clucking, sucking super idiot, and you sting. That's that's important, right? I was thinking about taking the egg. So so egg egg plus sword. This dragon is kind of nice. But also big. When they vanish about the torches that it's like so tiny, right? Takes no space and just utilize it. What a simple start. Yeah, we're just gonna, instead of refreshing, I'm just gonna start the next round because there's, I could now refresh X times to get something I'm looking for, but we have a very 
reasonable power level right now with the burning sword the burning torch the double thingies the the shield and everything together double banana so reasonable power level that doesn't really get much stronger if i spent my time like just rolling away now frozen flame that one followed up by this uh we could buy the shield but i couldn't put the shield out I one for three. Oh, I, I like that. But I need this first. As much as I like that. Might be better to keep the wooden buckler until I truly don't need it anymore. And right now we have we have like a reasonable power level going on that that gets countered by most of the shields again. Shields, my greatest bane. I'm just simply trying to not roll away too much money per turn. I feel like that's like another trap card, right? If you just spend your time rolling away your money. Now put that out. Heed, heed. Oh, cryo armor. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. That's huge. That's huge. I feel like they should buff the cryo armor. So it's good that they nerfed the draconic orb. What did they nerf about the draconic orb? It used to be five hits or crits. Now only four hits or crits. And that nerf essentially helps me. Because I don't rely on these crits. These crits are a bonus for me and the way how I play, right? When compared to some others that might need this, I don't. Yeah, we want the chili. We want this. We want the... um. We want the Volper Tinger. Volper Tinger might be better out of the house. And then we can make the Frost Armor instead of the Shield, I'd say. Volper Tinger allows us to just stay stamina-wise. You notice like how, uh, how high we're staying stamina-wise. And that's so important that we can essentially keep whacking him. Right? That's the second Dragon Orb. We sell the shield finally, even though I like the shield. To get myself the armor for now. To apply more frost. To get the chili. Because we don't need the mana right now. I mean the mana is like like a fun thing to play around with. The draconic orbs are still useful because we're not using them for the crits, we're using them to trigger Goobird. It's kind of like the, the big difference, right? We're not using these to crit. We're using them to trigger the Goobird. And we're just critting. We're critting anyways over our Frost. Right, that's our, our true strength is our Frost. Okay, let's see. Mm. Put that down here. Ubered. And two of the fire guys. Alright, then can I put the frost? Oh no, I, I need to need this here and the frost armor right next to it. Then we can take this. Wait, that's not true. That's wrong. That's that's wrong. I'm an idiot. Chat, punch me. Punch me. Jab, 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 jab. That needs to be here because this needs to be here. And then that can be here. Good. One, two, three, four. Probably bad because I could do one. Every fire must be upside down. Okay. 
Well, that, that looks somewhat pleasing. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh god, how does he have so much free space? That's so weird. So you get you get 14 frost straight away. We get 21 heed. Our thing is up to 16 damage. Swinging, dude. We're we're just it's rich. It's a second Volper Tinger, and I feel like that's really cool. But they're so big that I don't see how I can use multiple of these. Right? Okay, we're not gonna fall for the trap of the frostbite. Now we did notice how bad frostbite technically is. Right? As the frostbite does not work against those boots. Now let's see how strong the Phoenix is. So the Phoenix got nerfed, it heals less, the Lantern does less damage, was it? Same thing. Hmm, still, ouch. My main, mainly because we're missing healing, actually. It's a blueberry, which I can put right now. You know what? A little bit more armor. Oh, no. Whoop. 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 RNG is worse than D4. Just did 15 rounds without a single chili. Honestly, can happen. But if that really happens, you just need to compensate. You know, kind of like make sure that you, you find other stuff that could work better than the chili for you. Ryan, yeah, that that went really good. Hmm. Probably just salty that we're not master yet, Chan. That was the plan for today, master. Or we've been like going up and down, 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 up and down. Hasn't felt very good. Because who likes to go up and down? Fine. Okay, we're gonna try to integrate that one next round somehow. I'm gonna have four more rounds to survive, and I have nothing to cleanse poison because like here I'm at 60 poison, right? And I have nothing to cleanse that. I mean I I can out damage him essentially, as you can see, like we, we completely just de demolished that. Okay, Piggy goes away. Sun Armor stays. Sun Armor cleanses a lot of poison, especially with all the heat we have. Now, let's see. Uh, let's make it a bit slower. Okay, he prevents. He tries to stun us. We have nothing against stuns, actually, right now. We're doing reasonable damage, so that's nice. So, my sword is hitting. My torch is torching. But look, look how much damage we took when he just suddenly gets the attack speed bonus. That's just crazy. Hmm. Well, what I need would need to do right now is essentially move the whole. Now we can put that here. That's going to be nice because it's double fire. Mm. It's kind of sad how we haven't gotten a single other frost item. Remember when it said in the patch notes that the chance to find frost items is more likely now? Where? <laughs> Chat, where is it more likely now? One, two, three, four. Definitely worth it to pump that out because we have the mana already producing, right? We have the mana going on. And now this thing is going to trigger quite significantly. Like, look how, how much frost he's gaining now. And more frost, more crit, right? 
And we, we do, we're doing silly amounts of damage. But I'm just asking for a fair chance to get my frost items, right? Not, I'm not asking for much here, Chad. Just a goddamn fair chance. It's actually really damn good because this now triggers multiple times, right? And my, my book has a chance to trigger that also multiple times. Hmm, don't need this. Hmm, nothing. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're playing against the Phoenix Gang Gang, Chad. And he has the minus heal again. But he might have the minus heal. I have a lot of armor going on, right? So in comparison this time, we're at 122 armor. Because the ice armor actually gains me tons of armor as well. So we're not only getting like the healing here. We're getting tons of armor too. What is so crazy about these uh, cup of discomforts is that they're actually permanent, right? So, like, if they would, would be, like, temporary with the minus seal, that would be okay because I, I could at least work with this. But here he's getting, like, the, the triple revive, right? Will there be an endgame in this game? What, 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 what do you need for an endgame? I mean, these are your endgame bosses. I mean, whenever you go for the bonus rounds, that's where you meet the hard people that also manage to get into the bonus rounds. That is the end game. So, I'm not sure what kind of end game you're, you're looking for otherwise. That, that that is the end game you make it that far we sell this and we should put the dagger out for now burning coal this time we're gonna try the molten dagger instead of the torch been wanting to try that for a while now Right? Because the plan is that you're essentially going to make one dagger. Not not yet not yet straight away. Because it would just burn away my heat and wouldn't be efficient. The plan is to have like a second weapon that's stamina independent. That would work. Oh, wait. Nope. We wanted to put that out. Good. Just so when this game exists, just say watching your play. So the, the way it works is you're going for 10 wins or you're trying to go for 10 wins, right? And when you actually manage to get there, you go for the bonus rounds to get bonus ranking. And that bonus ranking is then going to be where you fight the end game. Okay, now we can make a burning sword. And we can make a Molten Dagger. We buy that one as well. Burning Sword, Molten Dagger, now. And the interesting part is it's still a two weapon combo, right? But the thing is that this dagger doesn't use any stamina. So that even though this is a... Why, why are we losing these? That is a two weapon combo. Should be good off. Burning coal. The only issue is that we have no heat right now. I mean, that's not true. We're producing some heat, actually, so that's useful. Mm, a dragon would be useless. It would be good to have to burn some thorns or whatever, but it's kind of like kind of useless right now. Is there a plan to release a mobile? No, but I think it works plenty well on Steam Deck, right? And you could also play it over GeForce now, probably. You see your rank? Yes, bottom left is your rank. Diamond.
Mm. Turn the whole thing. Hubert. Chili. Banana. I hate the way it turn. I hate, hate the way it's turn. Absolutely despise it. Okay, now that's the dagger sword instead of a torch. And with the torch, we're essentially going to miss out on some heat production. The dagger is going to soak away some heat. And the problem is that the dagger also attacks relatively slow. But again, the dagger doesn't take any stamina. So that should actually work quite well. You gonna trigger that now? Actually, you know what? We should probably put the dagger off. Because again, the, the dagger is um this only like 3.5 seconds, where this is 1.6 seconds, and this is 2.5 seconds. The dagger is really inefficient for this. right oh that's uh wow that's actually crazy that i would get this <laughs> wait burning blade okay that that's developing to be more and more interesting now by the second see now that shield would usually completely wreck us but look at our stamina our stamina never goes too low, and how we can continuously attack. Well, we have found the secret sauce to making this work, Chad. For myself. I might have found the secret sauce. By the way, that's a, that's a nasty one. He gets boosted. That gets boosted. That, that gets boosted. Everything gets boosted. One chili. Bonus attack. Right. So we only rely on one banana anymore and no more bananas, even if they have like multiple shields going on. I would have guessed that that dagger is what, what we're what we're lacking. Yeah, we won. <laughs> and we still don't have the defense to essentially back this up right now. So that's a, that's a bummer. Hmm. No, don't actually need that in there this time. And I need it over here on the other side, potentially. We get another faster hitting thingy. I and mean, that, that's actually crazy because what you could do is you could just do that, right? And then just... Have this work completely independent of what we're doing there. It's actually, this is actually really, really good right now. I mean, you have the, the, the dagger double boosted, the sword single boosted, and the sword triple boosted. We're just twacking you silly. If I now had anything to apply frost, that would be good. Chad, right? If I had any way, any, any, any way to apply frost to our opponents. But well, wouldn't that be great? That's the armor. 
Uh, we do want the mana orb, but again, too soon right now in any capacity to do something with that. Uh, we could put it up here, though. Okay, let's see how, how hard the eagles are getting hurt. Dude, 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 they're, they're just silly. They just get sliced and dies. And they, they couldn't even blink. John, what is this? What is this foul sorcery? I could replace this. Then I can actually use the oneer for the flame, correct? We can put that back on the menu. We can do that. Bang, 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 bang. Now we can put this here. And the best part is that it doesn't even cost us a single flame. Wow. Amazing gameplay. See how it does against him with the, with the dagger stabbing. We're still... We're, uh, but it helps that the dagger is like 37 damage and the sword is 22 damage. Honestly, should the dagger be the one that is getting boosted by the flame? It should be the dagger that's getting boosted by the flame. Shit. Holy moly. Reasonably surprised that it actually should be the dagger because so the difference is the sword still gets bonus damage, right? But the dagger gets actually two damage per per twack. So the dagger is technically the fastest growing weapon that is possible. There's no faster growing weapon we could whoop out right now. And yes, I know this 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 way around is like kind of uncool. Uh, what we need to do is we kind of need to get. You know, we kind of need to get it gone like this, right? Then we need to also have this doing like that. It's a frostbolt. Thank you very much. That's a chili. Thank you very much. So that's that. Thank you very much. We'll use it. We'll use it in a jiffy. Still too slow? I don't think so. I mean, the DPS might be slower, but if your crits, like, that's already at 16, that's at 20, that's at 15. Like, if your crits are so much higher, I think it might be worth it. Because, like, the crits are so much higher. You have to understand that the frost scale, like, hires the critical strike. So, you essentially, like, whack way harder. Like way harder in any in any capacity, right? That seems silly to not make the most use out of to just get like insane critical strikes. Especially since again, the we don't need the Wolpertinger anymore. That's crazy. It's like just insane how how a change of these things changes like everything for the whole board. Right? Currently. Hmm. Yeah, less DPS, more burst damage. I feel like the burst damage is better for us. I mean, again, the sword attacks really fast, right? The sword is 1.0 seconds. This is 2.24 seconds. So it just does a little bit more damage. Right? But, but this is a 27. This is a 19. This is a 30. This is a 20. This is a 34. This is 22, right? And that's a 95 crit again. Okay, we might we might have finally found the secret freaking sauce. Thank you very much, Chan. Took us took us long enough to get done. We're also not struggling anymore at all with anything like mana related or whatsoever. I mean, for all I know, I could put a second holy armor in if I wanted to, just for the YOLOs. We need to reorganize the whole board, but I, I usually do it when I lose. You know, when, I, when I'm winning, why would I organize the whole board again? You are healing a lot, but you're at the same time... Like, look at my stamina chat, by the way. Stamina didn't... 112 crit. I mean, dagger, yes, less damage, less DPS. But if you're looking, if you're looking at it, 
316 with 314. <laughs> Post just going all out. Oh, yeah, that's my book of eyes. Now we're talking. Okay, now now I really need to organize everything again. Okay, step number one would be bringing this whole thing down. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring this whole thing down and turn it. Because we don't need we don't need anything there. It's going to freak me out, those everythings. Okay, we need the, the ice thingy to touch, right? Okay, that's, that's great. The fire thingy. Do fire thingies. And the food cord can just be on the left side, right? The food cord can just be here. So chili. I want to, I can buy another food cord. Okay. Yeah. That looks way better. Especially this, this book of fire, uh, this book of frost now, right? It, it, it can cast these scrolls for free. So look at like his 20, 31 freeze. He's going to take even crazier crits now. I feel like we we solved the riddle. We solved the puzzle. And now we can spend our time spending our money on things that make sense, right? On things that help us to stay alive. Instead of just trying to somehow min-max more stamina in. Because that's the thing. We don't have to buy a Volpertinger, guys. A Volpertinger costs 12 and uses up a lot of space, right? A Volpertinger makes things more complicated. Right now, we cannot do this. I mean, look, we, we can just focus on, like, actually just, just freezing this dude and just hitting him silly with our crits. Even though he has, like, he, he's, like, completely has us locked down with his, uh, yeah. The Wolpertinger? We could play it. We don't need to. Now we could play this to just prevent us from getting critted. There's another Frostbolt. If I put the Goobert upside down, I think putting the Goobert upside down might have been a little bit better. Upside down and next to the wall would have given me a little bit more real estate. Do 40, 40 freeze shot, 45 freeze, 99, 98 damage, boom, 62 damage. Like the, the dagger, the dagger just twacked him silly. There you go. Dagger damage, 216. Burning Blade, 1453. And we just have two weapons of mass destruction essentially happening. I'm I'm literally just looking here for for better. Um oh god, are you are you kidding me? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to get something like the wooden buckler the whole time. No, I wanted to make a frost buckler. Is it is it that hard to let me get a frost buckler? Is it that hard, chat? This is the final round. It would have gotten like a cool frost buckler. Okay, like that's the Phoenix chat. This is our this is our enigma. That's the, the the game we cannot beat usually. And he's cleansing all our frost straight away. Look at that. He's just completely obliterating our frost away. Damn, son. There's no way to do anything. I mean, he he we get we get Phoenix destroyed, right? He has zero frost on him. Zero frost on him. A cleanse 10 B. Oh what? He has two divine potions to cleanse all the debuffs on him. Well, now that it worked one time, Chan, I need to test it another time, right? Old man, thank you for the nine months of support. Fatsuki, thank you for the 72. Super TL with a 31. Good day, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Token, you have a question? Ask away. I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm not talking that much. That's not true. I talk a lot. We get the sword. We get this. We get the shield. 
Okay. We are rolling one time. Lock the stone. No, actually, no, we need to lock the stone. I, I wanted to, like, say we can actually... Um, you know what? We're making a Molten Dagger straight away. Thinking about not making one, but I think it's better. It will lose us a lot of heat, a lot of heal. So the plan is to have the Molten Dagger carry us early. How feasible that ever is. I want the banana, at least one banana. And we're going to make a burning coal. And I need this and that one can go away. Buy a shield for free for no reason. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe there's a reason. Maybe I get another lizard back and then I'm going to do two wooden bucklers, right? Oh, ni nice. You just get stabbed. I see this one uses up like two two of our um two of our heed to instantly go to twelve damage. Twelve damage is a lot, Chad. I mean, in my books, twelve damage is kind of huge, right? I wish I could put another heat out. We need this on the sword. Why this on? Wait, you know what? We actually need this on. No, this on the sword. Because the sword is hitting fa faster and more than, than the dagger. And the sword can make more heat. So if we get a bonus heat, like, look at this. This is a 12. This is now at 14 damage per hit. If it wouldn't miss. Chat, if it wouldn't miss because we get shoveled on. As I said, we might get a second buckler. Two buckler gameplay. Oh, that's a dragon. I'm not sure if I want the dragon early. Hmm. Oh shit, that's another dragon, and that's the flame. It's like you not sure if you want it early because you're not gonna reach the 15 flame anytime soon. Since we're actually using up our flame, right? You could destroy us with that many bows through two shields. What? I am honestly not okay with that. You know? I'll, I'll, I'll feel like that, that should have happened. I feel like a decent amount of robbery just transpired here. I'm doing great, Krubel. How are you doing? Your stream is very informative and entertaining. Ran random coincidence. Trying my best. Thank you. That dagger, 14 damage. Like, like, look, if we're, if we're compared to his weapons, so dagger, 19 damage, 7 and 11, right? And the good thing is, my dagger, again, does not need stamina. So I got a 21 damage dagger. Yeah, this is, this is fixing all my issues, and that dagger just got even stronger. Let me play this and put this in my backpack because if I have a burning coal in the backpack, what happens is that it gives us heat after X. Well, this is bad because we're going to get blinded. We're essentially like we're just going to lose to blind potentially. Not due to damage because we just do more damage than him. I might just use to blind. Okay, yeah, that stays in there. Hmm... We could put a second dagger in, but I don't think that's in. I don't want more than one dagger. I want to, like, keep it with one dagger. Not sure if that's the smart choice, because more is more, right? Now we're going to buy the brood. Hmm. I kind of want to, like, I, I want to get this and that, but I don't think it's possible. What we should get, I think it would be silly to not go for the goo brood. Because right now we... Actually, right now we have the two... Yeah, we have this. I can move Goobert up. Yeah, that's that's like... It would be silly to not do this, right, Sean? Correct me if I'm wrong. That's just such a powerful Goobert early on. 
like with a weapon that never stops hitting right with two armors that burn their stamina because he is actually running out of stamina right mm -mm -mm. That, that that's nice okay now frost oh that is a sixer so now we sell this buckler and we sell that buckler to get out the big shield Move that down and put it here to... Oh, shit. I need the quad thingy. Mm, can I... I need this to touch the sword. Uh, the dagger. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that, pony? What was that? Hey, okay, uh, refresh. Armor, lock, perfect, boom, and next turn we can play it. Whoa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, things are looking very good. See, like 10 dagger, 11 dagger, 14 dagger, 16, 19, and the, the dagger is already doing like silly damage. Yep, we got it, we got it fixed. Damn. Is this, do I need to make a guide now? Hey, Chad, do, do I need to make a guide now that we actually got it fixed? Uh, we sell the fire to play the armor, to put the armor here, right? To lock the chili, because we want the chili goober, right? We're keeping the pig in the fire pit, because he's surrounded by flames, and it works very well if he's surrounded by flames. Okay, let's see. You get quite some heal, but we get quite some counter heal going on. We get some frost, but not enough frost. The, the sun shield is helping us. We beat him once, but he sadly beats us twice currently, so that one still had one up on us. Okay, we can finally do this to put the flame here. And I can do that. Mm, we're not playing the frost sword. We learned that that is not an option. Okay, like this. It's not what I dream of at night. It kind of weird if that's what I dream of at night. But it should work to keep us alive. We got a $15 Steam gift card. What game should I get? I mean, token this, this, I mean, like, but back by battles is waiting for you, right? Okay, we're using up our heat faster than we can, we can produce it. Okay, he's out of stamina. Oh, no. We were just about to hit him. Oh, that is so frustrating. We're just so close to just obliteration, huh? Very frustrating. Uh, we should probably buy the whetstone, but I don't feel like the whetstone would do as much of an advantage right now. Yeah, but I'd rather have like a frost bolt. At least have that going on. Hmm. Hmm. Can't bring that in where I need to bring that in right now. That is the leather armor. That is fire. Fuck. I need the leather armor right next to this. I need this upside down then. Uh, need that whole thing. Comes here, that comes here. Done, done, Chan. Not my proudest fat, but we got it. Yeah. Also attacking weapons, freezing, more freezing, more damage. He did a reasonable number on our damage too. Damn, son. He has like the stun damage going on. 
But now we get the triple armor stack. And now, now it begins also the funny part. So whenever this gives us 10 armor, it also deals four damage, right? So if the star items gain 10 armor, they do damage. <laughs> We're splitting well. I mean, interesting is that we're coming out with two fruits here right now. So two, two food, no more. For now, let's go for that. Hmm. Nothing critical. Nah. The fire is frozen leather armor. Apples, bananas, frozen leather armor, fire. Like, dude, he he just tried to survive and oh, what? Oh, we're just like on the last stab. I am very not happy about what transpired there. It was like so, so close to getting the final stab in. But a bit more tempo. It might, might be worth it to actually like charge the gloves of haze. Uh, if I could like gloves of haze here, right? So just have him attack a bit faster. And it's a 20% faster trigger. Seems reasonable. I kind of do want the next Draconic Orb. There's another Frostbolt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More Frostbolt, the Merriam. I mean, more Frostbolts is also 15 armor bonus, so I'll take that. Oh no, our arc enemy chat. No, from all the people we could have faced at this point. It is our arc enemy. No, I mean we can we can bring him really down like with a with a fast crits and everything, right? But he just he just manages to outdo us. Okay, the board worked again, but we just faced against the most unfortunate matchup there. Okay, fi final round, chat. Final round of making the the things we have been trying to reliably work. Don't buy the broom. Refresh. Uh, really don't want the pan. You know what? Instead of buying the pan, I should buy the shield. I should stick to my... Should, should, should stick to the things that work. Make a burning coal. Get that one as well. We can sell it. I mean, I told myself, you need the wooden buckler every match, right? Because the wooden buckler is too good to ignore. Especially when you're fighting double sword or something like that. Getting, getting that denied is just too too powerful to not do. Mm, I want the second piggy, but I want the chili as well. Uh, Martin, you're playing this too? Well, GG. I guess, I guess the whole influencer thing is working out after all, huh? <laughs> Waiting to get a dagger seems particularly greedy, you know? The thing, that, that, that's what we're doing right now, correct? We're, we're waiting to get a dagger, but it seems, seems particularly greedy. Okay. Mm, I kind of want the piggy bank for two because the piggy bank for two is kind of like free money. But I can't do it. Dodge, thank you for your 14 months of subscription. Leo, also thank you for the brand new sub. Dodge and Leo, howdy to both of you. Appreciation. Hope you're feeling good. Oh, no. Please win this. Thank you. Now we get another one of those. We get another one of this. Not what we need right now. We need... I mean, two chilies is better than no chili. That's more heat. More heat is more speed. More speed is more hits. But we, we need we need that dagger. That's the problem that you can't also reliably get it. I mean, we're not only getting no dagger. We're also getting no whetstone. So we, we have like the, the stack of two things happening, right? We have no daggers and we have no whetstones. So this is like the, the worst case scenario of the worst case scenarios currently. That we're not getting anything of the things we actually want. Like, for real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the dagger. Thank you very much. Just long enough. Actually, sell down to make burning coal. So it might not be enough to win this round here. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll see. He might have the burning sword in that, but we have a triple heal stack, which actually is nice. And we do have the wooden buckler. Then he does do have, though, a lot of damage. I actually feel like we should have won that. Oh, finally. Finally, we're getting what we're looking for, Chan. That, that took us definitely long enough. That took us definitely long enough and more than I'm comfortable with. I do really want to put like that shield on top of it, but I don't see how I could do that right now. But we'll probably have to just go with the five activations on the chilies. Oh, we're going to lose against your stupid gloves, right? Mm. Thank you, Stabby Dagger, for 20. I mean, that's it, right, guys? 20 damage. You just stabbed and did 20. Nasty. Burning sword. Done. Mm, we could buy a blood amulet, which might be turning out to be a good decision. In the beginning. For now. Is that a multiplayer game? Yes, we're essentially fighting off real players, but... Uh, it is asynchronic, so the, they're not, we're not fighting them off while they're sitting in front of their PC. We're fighting off a ghost of them, but it's still real players making these builds and not like some fake computers having made these builds. Nope, this is this is the real housewives. Uh, the game costs 11 bucks, and it's really worth it. I cannot tell you how much it's really worth it. I feel like we just won because I actually picked up the heal, Chan. If I did not pick up the heal, we could have just buried ourselves straight away. Okay, we have both things attacking faster. We get our frost frosting. We could have the armor armoring, but that would be useless. We need to roll a bin. Mm, yeah, that is all not not really not really amazing what we see here right now. Is the armor truly better when you like the buckler truly better when you have multiple? Yes. I mean, look, look how often that triggers. Because for every weapon, the buckler has a chance to trigger. For, so for every hit they do, I could trigger. And that's where the that's where the real usefulness of the buckler comes from when you're putting it actually there. Hmm. Yeah, Gingerbread Jerry is not bad, but I, I don't have have it. What, what, what I need to make him. <sighs> Should we go for fluid <clears throat> right now? We don't really have much to, to play. Might be that flute is actually not banned. Because I feel like I don't need it. There's another Goobird. That's a mana. Another Goobird. That's another Goobird. Two Goobirds is greedy. Two Goobirds makes no sense. The mana crystal makes no sense as well. That's the problem. <laughs> Come on, we're going we're gonna to pick up the this one here. It's like great that they're all cool, uh, like, like discounted, right? But it just makes no sense to pick that. And right now we want to do as much as much heat as possible so we do actually some freeze but we neither do heat nor do we do freeze when he actually just gets rid of our freeze that being said though we do way more damage than him now you, you might heal but we don't care oh what you had us with the last swing robbery I say it as I see it. Robbery, Chan. Okay. Oh, no. Weapon damage, but attacks 10% slower. He, he has, like, the super, super thingy to just one-twack us. But the thing is, we're doing so much damage so quickly that his one-twacking is not working. Because we're just, we're just overwhelm him with little, little many, many tiny twacks. 
Okay, we could try to make a fire sword. I think we should do that as we're not getting any other shit right now. I mean, seriously, we're, we're, we're not just getting anything currently. Might as well make a fire sword. That's my shield that I really don't want. Uh, that's a potion for free and we should just buy it. That's my book of frost for low B money. Oh, crazy. I mean, luckily I have the mana crystal, huh? Oh, yeah, we're, we're like, we're having the frost thingy go on to do like super frosty Mac frost face crits, right? But we're just not having anything to facilitate these frosty Mac frost face crits. So that's now the book. Get more. Don't, don't roll the shield. It's just not going to happen. Ooh. Uh, we had the gloves last time because the gloves can be turned into bloody gloves which makes things trigger even faster faster so vampire gloves and that works really well for for the dagger just to be triggered faster well, that's that's at, at end of the day our goal so here fi finally we're doing some freeze chan yeah crit him crit him no just one more crit we had this Okay, so gain five items after trigger 30% faster. Oh, triggering that book even faster seems quite nasty. This to trigger as much as possible. Then we have the frost booky too. Okay, frost book. Hmm. I mean, I feel like relying on that stupid buckler still. It's, oh, double feet. No, no, you don't have that board. Two Phoenix, two burning swords, everything. Oh, that's so bullshit. My worst enemy, Chad. My worst enemy. Of all the things we try to make work, why him? It's definitely working more consistent, Chad, but we, we still have a lot of hurdles to take until we're we're like perfection. So more consistent now, not consistent enough. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back on Sunday. I lied to you. Thank you for coming and watching, being here, lurking, chatting, hanging out, and hopefully having a good time. I am looking forward to see you on Sunday. Don't forget to check out our YouTube videos. There is a bunch of interesting stuff, especially about Dragon's Dogma. There is the other live streams about backpack battles and everything going on. So thanks for hanging out for such a long time. And I wish you a great rest of your days, evening, nights everything.